All right, how about now? I hope can y'all hear me now? All right, how about now? I hope can y'all hear me now? So let me explain to you guys why y'all couldn't hear my sound. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for being here on Wednesday night, guys. It must, I don't know if it was the show. It was an outstanding show. I appreciate you all for being here. Yay. I appreciate you all for being here. It was an outstanding show, but it's showing enough blue eye stuff up over here. <laughs> it had us freezing. We couldn't even end it. We couldn't end the show, guys. It's funny. We were trying to end the live and it just wouldn't work. It was like overwhelmed with uh, the comments. I don't really know, but it just knocked everything off. So we had to go back and redo everything. And Mr. Boss has been working on that for hours. And we really thought we had everything together, but apparently we didn't push the button on the sound, but we're here now. So good, good, good. So listen, <laughs> let me go back to the beginning. Hello, hello, hello. It is so good to be here. It is another good Friday. Remember I always say we got started on good Friday and it's been a good Friday every Dearly day. beloved. So I appreciate you all for being here today. This is like a little different show for me because y'all know I really don't don't be in other folks' business too much. But this was such an interesting topic because this is so sad after the fact. It's very sad. And um, we're going to jump right into it. We're going to talk about it. But I am definitely looking for some. Um, I want you all opinion. I want to hear what you all got to say, how it may affect you, what y'all going to do different, if anything, how you feel about it. But before I get started. I want to say hello to all of you that are in the live. I thank you all for being here. Um, and remember, as you're coming into the live, make sure you're giving us a thumbs up. I appreciate that a whole lot. And uh, Black Man Unfiltered, hey, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Lady Nava, I'm still saying it my way. I hope. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for being here, though. Uh, Nunya Biz, Nunya, Nunya Biz. I like that. Thank you for being here. Um, the patriarchy strikes back. Hello, how are you doing? Brianna Taylor got what she deserved, and the FBI loved the drug dealer. Brianna Taylor, William O'Neill 2.0. We're gonna talk about it, patriarchy. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you can um reduce that energy for just a little bit so we can like build on the show. <laughs> you already at the end, and we just starting. So hold up. <laughs> Shelby, it's good to see you. IXL, it's good to see you riding the six. Hello. I'm glad you're here. It's good to see you. I missed you the last couple of times, I think, or maybe just didn't see you to get it, but I'm glad you're here. Tommy B, thank you so much for that information and thank you for being here. Um, if it's someone else that I didn't see, forget M. Mills, thank you for being here and thank you for your comment. Tag Nixon, hello. You can't hear me? I think we can hear me now, hopefully. I hope so. Gosh. Gretchen, Gretchen, how you doing? I like you. <laughs> Gretchen, you got away, girl. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. So listen, guys, um, if I have not called you out by now, forgive me. But if I will continue throughout the live, if I see individuals coming up, y'all know I'm going to get y'all my little finger. Or I just appreciate you all for being here and supporting um, SB Nation. Again, last Monday, not last Monday, Wednesday it was. That was outstanding interview. Um, it started a big conversation. We got to keep the conversation going. Um, most of you all know tyranny tyranny. I'm so glad that you were here. She says she enjoyed the conversation. Um, and I appreciate her being here now my Wednesday nights. I'm gonna try to incorporate that in my week. And it's going to be something like that every week. It's going to be a, hopefully a young lady. It could be a young man also, but a young lady that's willing to share her life and her story with us all to be better. We're doing this all to make everyone better, a better versions of ourselves. And also to get good understanding because, it seems like to me, I've been listening now for about, what, eight months, nine months. And it just seems like um, we're saying all the same things from our position. You know, the ladies are saying this and the men are saying that. But I want us to get together and say, let's get married. <laughs> oh, yes. Listen, shout out to um, uh, Cam and JB. They Dearly are beloved. engaged. So listen. <laughs> I don't even know if y'all remember, but it's been about two weeks ago. Sway was on him. was like, SB, why you want, why you don't be talking about JB and Cam getting engaged? You know, y'all or Jedi or whatever. Y'all just talk about me. Hey, I'm talking about you because you next. And I talked about JB and Cam. So guess what? One down. Oh, look, Tiki, Cheeky, excuse me, Cheeky. You, you're not far away, buddy. So all of them, I am so glad that what, you know, JB and Cam were first. So shouts out to them. And I'm so glad that they decided to be come um engage so that's that's good it's leading in the right direction 
So listen, um, I want to tell you this. Y'all know we try to read all Super Chats. And if on Wednesday did we miss some, forgive us again. A lot was going on. The Super Chat was going. Y'all were definitely engaged. I had a conversation going over there. I tell you, I didn't even want to look. Because when I look, I feel like I have to, and I'm, I don't want to do it. I want to stay focused on her. Y'all, listen, she stayed here the whole time. She managed herself absolutely. I mean, very good. And I'm just proud of her because, you know, I've seen her in so many different places and she hasn't been able to do that. She gets really upset. So I'm glad she was able to have a conversation and hopefully she'll come back and continue to have conversations with myself and also take TJ up on her offer and the modern re Renaissance man, because um, those people, those individuals can definitely help you know, help her see her way through and maybe get a broader perspective on life and men and how valuable men can be with us. And especially now, y'all, she has three kids. Are you the going back with her husband, which would be a plus, 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 but hey, what can we do? The other thing was uh, the, the money line. Again, we read all super chats, but anything over $9.99 gets you a money line. So anyway, guys, um, I wanted to let y'all know that. And what else was there? So we're going to get right into it. It's something else I wanted to tell you guys, but it'll, it'll come to me a little bit later. But again, we added the Wednesday night show and the Wednesday night show is going to be like that. But let me say this too. Um, I'm extending that to any woman or man that just wants to talk, wants to have a conversation with me. Um, y'all understand I don't pressure people. I have grace for all people and I respect all people, no matter what we've done or what we're doing. If we need to become better individuals, we're going to work towards doing so. So I'm willing to have the conversation with anybody. Again, that was going to be what my Wednesday night show is dedicated to. Remember, you can hit me on my email or in DMs, but my email address is sbshow, sbshow2020 at gmail.com. So I'm willing to accept any conversation that you're willing to have. Um, but I got some things planned, too. So. Just look forward to that. Mr. Dr. Steele, hello, how are you doing? So I'm gonna get right into it. And like I said, this is not my norm, but it's Friday, it's Good Friday, so why not? And, and what we're talking about is kind of imp impressed on me a bit because it's so sad that, let me just say it like this. Typically when a person is wrong, they're wrong. Um, you should never have to lie to make your point if a person is wrong or if, a, if an individual is doing wrong and they're in a the wrong place, it's definitely going to come out. So why would we have to set somebody up for them to be wrong? That was wrong in itself. And I definitely think that that I'm glad it has come out. There's some um, the two detectives, actually two detectives and a sergeant, you know, had a whole conspiracy going on to, um, uh, kick in the door of Brianna Taylor. Y'all, if she was doing wrong, then she was already doing wrong. It was going to come out. You know, I found the best way to let a person be wrong is to let them talk and to let them continue on in their wrongness. And you can just wait, sit back and wait, and your time will come. So this has done a terrible thing to the police force, in my opinion. And I'm saying this coming from an individual that works with the police officers every day. Y'all, I love the boys in blue. I do. But the thought that there could be some of them out there conspiring, it's like, mm, I mean, listen, and you gotta get I gotta keep people like me on your side. Cause if we if I go on the other side, I just don't know what's gonna happen. But before we get started, let's read Black Man Unfiltered. Thank you so much for your $10 super chat. And he says. Welcome to XB Church, where the knowledge is free. However, the super chats and the gift shop cash goes to SB. DJ Boss dropped the beat. So let me let me get let me let me say this before we get really started and get into this. Um, I forgot to say thank you to my co-host over here, Mr. Boss. Hello, how are you doing, sir? Dearly you, beloved, you've been working really hard today. I'm gonna have to rub your bald head when we're done. All right, in appreciation. Thank you. 
Thank you for that. So listen, just in case y'all don't remember, let's go back and talk about just a little bit to bring everybody into this. Ine, hello, how are you? To bring everybody up to date. And then we're going to drop the link fairly quickly so you all can have your input because it's just it's a story in itself. And, and, and I just want to hear what you all have to say, because like I said, I work with police officers every day, guys. I love the boys in blue. I never denied it. Um, I don't think they're a racist bunch. I happen to think we have good and evil in this world and there are good and evil police officers. I believe all of that, y'all. So y'all can come at me later. I really do. Um, the police officers I work with have always treated me perfect, y'all. I mean, I don't know what they're doing behind my back. I'm wondering now. But they've always uh, been welcoming to my husband and I um, in the business that we run and, and even working with us, us working with them, actually. Um, it's always been a good a good group of people that we work with. And I've worked with them for many years now. Y'all should know that we've been in business for God, y'all 20 years. So um, to hear something like this, and I mean, I hear stuff like this all the time, but to have it come full circle this way is almost like, wow, really? So I'm going to get back to it now. I know y'all, most of y'all remember Brianna Taylor. That was a young lady. Um, I think she was an EMT. Or they, they took pictures of her being an EMT and she graduated and got her uh, position as an EMT. EMT. Um, but one night, it was after midnight, shortly after midnight, um, Brianna and her new boyfriend, this is not the boyfriend that we're going to talk about today, but it was a new boyfriend. Um, apparently they were in bed. I don't know if they were completely asleep. I think he mentioned that they were up looking at TV or something, but, you know, in a very relaxed position. And a police officer, well, and they heard a knock on the door. Now, the police officer said, of course, that they uh, said or announced themselves and them in the house said they did not hear them announce themselves, but whatever, a shootout ensued. Um, I want to say the boyfriend said that he shot first. So then when that happened, the police officers, there were four of them, they started shooting. Now it's always been a wonder to me if I can say this, cause it just seems, it seems odd. It just seems odd to me and y'all can, y'all can challenge me about it when you want, but it seems odd to me cause just being, um, you know, shooting guns and know how, it, you know, guns in a dark place and what have you. If you shoot a gun, it, it gives off a flash, right? And and when the police officers see a flash, they shoot towards the flash. That's just typically how it goes because it's black dark in the environment and no one's seeing anybody for sure because it takes a moment for your eyes to adjust. Everybody knows that. So you're shooting and it's a flash. Then you got these officers that just you know, shooting, 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 shooting. There was one officer that was already charged for just shooting all over everywhere, you know, no target intended and went through other neighbor's window and this terrible thing. I don't know what was wrong with him and he was definitely charged. We're going to talk about him in just a moment. But this has been my theory though, guys. Um, not my theory, just my thought. I just wondered because the boyfriend is the one who said he shot the weapon. He said he did the shooting. He shot the gun. Now, with being my husband, with my husband, my husband's an excellent shooter. I'm not. He is. He's always the way he thinks about this is like where the flash is. That's where you shoot. So I was always wondering, since he was the person doing the shooting, why didn't he get shot? How did Brianna get shot? I think she was shot six times, guys. But he didn't get shot. So that was always a big question for me. But, hey, it's done. It's over. That part is done and over with. But it was wrong either way. Now we're realizing that all this was wrong. The police shouldn't even been there. But before we get into it, we're going to read this super chat. Black Men Unfiltered, thank you so much for your $10 super chat. And he says, for the oil used to rub Mr. <laughs> Mr. Boss's head, the luckiest man on the planet. <laughs> Drop the beat for me. <laughs> yes. <Money line. laughs> I'm already So Mr. Boss, do you feel like you're the luckiest man on the Listen, he's probably pretty frustrated now because his board is messed up and he's like, what the heck? Yeah. He's like going crazy. But anyway, he's good. So thank you, Black Man, for that $10 super chat. And I am going to use it for that question, for that exact, you know, need. Um, Emil says, S Boss, that was a good question. How did the boyfriend not get shot? Hey, hey, Emil's, you a gun shooter too. You know, Emil's, it's just been a question I've had. 
it's just been a question that I've had. Now, does it really matter at this point? So I don't even know why I brought it up. I just thought somebody could help me out because that's just not how we do things. That's not usually typically how it work out. You know, you see a flash and you're in a dark place. You can't see anything, but you see that flash. That's where you shoot. And that's just usually how it's been. But the young man didn't get shot at all. Brianna, who was in the bed, got shot six times. So I don't know, guys. That's just, you know, that was just one of those official. Y'all know how people can be so official in their position and they be thinking about everything and all that. Miss Jennifer, how are you? I just, be, I just be thinking too much. That's all. I'm just going to turn it off. And I'm going to get on with the story for the day. But I just wanted to share that little bit of thought because, um, when I heard the young man, the boyfriend, the new boyfriend telling his story, it just didn't seem right to me. But again, now that I know these um, detectives and the sergeant told a lie, it ain't none of it's right. So it's almost like there's some, y'all don't go to Kentucky. A uh, little podcast, I think little podcasts live in Kentucky. Move. You need to move because there's some, there's some bad people over there just creating stuff. That might not be a safe place to live. I mean, you know what? Wrong on both Uh, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, this was in um, Louisville, Kentucky. And um, what we found out now is that it was all a lie, guys. And what I mean by all a lie is there were um, they've charged now four officers. Now, let me say this, because I know y'all might be thinking or wondering that the four officers that did the shooting, were they the one charged? No, they were not. One of them, Louisville is my hometown. Girl, do you still live there? You OK? I need you to move because some things ain't mm -mm, things ain't right there. But anyway, let me get to this. Um, initially, you know, there were four officers and there was one officer that just shot up the place. He was just shooting everywhere. Um, they initially shot. Uh, they initially charged him. I, I don't remember what it was, but basically he was just shooting in dwellings that he shouldn't have been shooting in. They charged him. That was Mr. Hankins, Hank, Hank's son. Hank's son was his name. They initially charged him. But guess what? Now they're charging um, three others and him again. Now, this time he's been charged with depriving Miss Taylor and her boyfriend and three other, excuse me, three others, the neighbors, y'all, um, the rights, their rights by firing 10 bullets through windows, sliding doors and everywhere. They just, he just went crazy, you know. They wouldn't, they was unsuspect. I, I don't know how he did that. I'm not sure. I can't set the scene. I don't know how that fourth officer was somewhere just, I mean, because again, y'all, when you see the flash, that's the direction you shoot in. So I don't get it. I don't get it. Unless he saw some motion and somebody running or something, I don't know. I wouldn't there. And I'm beginning to think we'll never get the whole story with this going on. But but what we're going to have, you know, draw our attention to mostly are the, the three, the other, the new three, the two detectives and the sergeant. Because this this is the problem right here. We have Josh, uh, Joshua James. James, he's he's uh, been charged charged with conspiring to impede the federal investigation. So let me tell you what him and Miss um what's her name? Goodlet, Goodlet, make sure Goodlet. Him and Miss Goodlet, they got together. They just came up with this right here. This is what we're gonna say. This is this is me y'all telling you my way. Y'all can go back and read it. It's in the New York Times. It's everywhere. Y'all can go back and read it on your own time in your own way. Be more thorough. But I'm just gonna tell you how I see it. They got together and they say, listen, this is what we're going to do. Brianna's last boyfriend, they didn't like him. There's some stuff going on with him they didn't like. I don't know his history, but apparently he knew a whole lot of people at the police force to the point that they needed to have him behind bars or they wanted to charge him with something. So in other words, let me y'all tell you how what I think. I think he was kind of making them look like suckers. Y'all know what a sucker is, right? It was like he was like laughing at them and they didn't like it. They didn't like it. They didn't like being picked at. Not at all. Not at all. Now, there was a story told the other day. I'm not going to tell you that story because it'll get off. But I'm going to stay right here. So I'm thinking that Brianna's uh, last boyfriend was really getting away with a whole lot of stuff. And for whatever reason, they could not catch him in it. So they said to themselves, you know what? I'm tired of this. Y'all know. Y'all know. You know exactly what they said. I'm not going to say it. But y'all know what he said. They said, I'm tired of him. We're going to make sure. We get what we need this time. So they just created. They said they met in somebody's garage. We're going to talk about We're going to get this story together and we're going to stand by it. So they went and told each other, listen, I'm going to tell the police. I'm going to tell the judge, actually, 
that the Kentucky Police um, Department, they requested a no-knock warrant. I'm going to tell them they did that. But guess what? They didn't do that, y'all. They didn't. The SWAT team did not request a no-knock warrant. They didn't. Mm. That's the most important lie right there. They did not request that. First thing, Miss Goodlett, the little lady, it was a woman in this. She says she gonna make sure they know that, um, you know that this is his current address, the boyfriend. We are gonna say he still lived there, knowing good and well he did not live there. And then when it comes up to tell the truth, they are gonna be like, mm, I don't know. For all I know, this is his current address. And Mr. James, you know, he going he going to pretend like yeah, he getting packages over there. Yeah, we've been filing it. He getting packages. Y'all know that that's true. That was all a lie, guys. There was no packages. That was not his current address. There was no request for a no-knock warrant. They did what the hell they wanted to do. Can I say that? Yeah, I did. Dearly beloved. Yeah. Yeah, this woman died for her boyfriend for some beef that I just got a feeling y'all that the detectives and this boyfriend, they had some kind of a personal, I'm calling it a personal relationship. Y'all know what I mean? It's not personal, but they were after him and he's still out here walking around doing his thing. And this girl is dead shot six times by the police. Now I don't know nothing about her engagement in this, how deep she was in it. If she had anything to do with it, I have no clue. I didn't even invest Brianna that deeply. The young lady passed away. She was shot and killed. So I don't know. She, you know, I'm going to tell you something. I ain't going to, don't let me tell no lie. And I'm not going to just act like it doesn't exist. I've always talked about influence, right? Influences come from girlfriends and influence comes from the internet. Influence comes from your boyfriend. If her boyfriend, past boyfriend was a drug dealer, she knew about it and she probably helped conspire and get the job done. Y'all already know. Probably, he, listen, his mama, her, all of them. They conspire and they get it done. It ain't no secret. If he's this big time that the police has got to frame him, everybody knew. Everybody knew. So I hate that she had to lose her life behind it, but everybody knew. But that doesn't justify this right here, y'all. They told a lie. There was no request for a no-knock warrant. The police didn't ask that, y'all. They didn't ask for that. They made it seem like they did. There was nothing, there was no evidence of any packages coming to that young lady's house for that young man. So there were no drugs being sent to this home. They tried to make, they played it like he was receiving drugs at Brianna's house. Brianna had moved on and got her another man, y'all. But they played it like this was the way he, you know, this is where he getting his drugs from. So we could follow this and we'll definitely find the drugs and probably him. Mm, Miss Jennifer said the informant didn't drop the package off and they had to wing it. Oh, see there? Well, guess what? When the informant didn't do whatever role he or she was supposed to play, it was supposed to all be off. If the package didn't get delivered and he didn't have any packages there, you're not. At, what, but wait a minute, Miss Jennifer, that don't explain the no knock warrant request. That also don't explain this is his current address. Unless they can lie and say that's what's on his driver's license. And I already know that ain't true. Y'all, this is dirty. This was so low down. Now, this is the part now. They have been charged with um, basically civil rights because, you know, that was all against her civil rights. They, it's just ridiculous. He was charged with um, the James, the first detectives, conspiring to impede the federal investigation. And Ms. Uh, good look, I think she was the same. And then the sergeant himself was uh, charged with civil rights violations. So what do y'all think is going to happen with this? And then too, how often do y'all think this goes on, guys? How often do y'all think this goes on? This young lady was shot and killed for no reason. I'm going to say for no reason. But then I, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. So it's kind of uh, hard. to. It's kind of hard to say. It's, this is hard for me. Because again, I believe in the boys in blue. But when you got to get to the point where you're conspiring to set somebody up, it makes me just kind of um, wonder. It kind of makes me wonder what we're dealing with. Make me look at your little side eye. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I'm not going to lie about it. I don't know really what was going on. I don't know if we ever will know 
what was going on. But these three, these four people have been brought up on charges again. And it's not the four people that did the shooting, y'all. So in other words, the four people that did the shooting, they didn't know this was illegal. They were set up too, guys. Lady Nava says, Auntie SB, I said it. She said, I said it when it happened. It was on him. It didn't sound right. And to clear and to clear to me and and too clear to me, I I break down my boxes. I don't just look inside. Look everywhere. Look everywhere. Diagnose. Diagnose it. Life. Hey, listen. I don't know. This is you can't just accept everything someone tells you. Riding the six says, if if it were in Canada, absolutely nothing would happen. Whoa. Wait a minute. Are you saying that the officers and the detective and the sergeant would just get off with nothing? Black man said it happens often and they will get a slap on the wrist. Come on. No, no, no. Y'all, this young lady was killed. Um, yes, her family has received $12 million for a wrongful death, but that was before we knew it was a lie. Now we know it was a lie. So this is deeper than that, y'all. I don't I, we a lot a lot more has to happen. We're gonna have to do some overturning of some things because I'm here to tell you if you're living in Louisville, Kentucky right now, you in trouble. You in trouble. Because guess what? We can almost make up any and everything now because this this is ridiculous. This this right here is crazy. They're gonna lie about every part of what was going on. Now I'm getting ready to drop the link. And I want you all to come up. I appreciate y'all comments. Y'all know I would rather speak to you all and let y'all want to talk about it because again, I'm in the, I'm in the South y'all. I don't even expect things like this to happen. And I said, when I started to show that when people, when you're wrong, you're wrong, right? Why do you have to, why do I have to, you know, lie on you to make sure that somebody knows and sees that you're wrong? I happen to believe if I continue to let you talk and continue to let you be in your, in your wrongness, it will all come out. Why did these people have to lie and conspire to get a no-knock warrant? Now, y'all know what happens when you get a no-knock warrant. They don't knock. They just put that little ramming thing through the door, and they coming in. Now, who wouldn't be startled or afraid when you hear that? Who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't start shooting when you hear that if they you know, have a weapon? Who wouldn't do that? I guess it all depends on the kind of life you live or where you're living. I really don't know. But when they could have simply had the warrant, knocked on the door, and when they came to the door, they said, listen, is this person here? Yes or no? No, they're not here. Then they could have left. But remember, guys, the warrant that they're going by was illegal. It wasn't even right. They didn't even follow the proper procedures to get the warrant. They lied to the judge. Now, listen, they lied to the judge and the FBI. No, 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 y'all. We're not walking away from this. Listen, Martha Stewart lied to the FBI. She did how many years in jail? Ten? No, you don't get to walk away when you lie to the FBI, y'all. I don't care who you are. If they let them walk away, we all need to go down to Louisville and protest. We ain't going to stay for about an hour because they've been found some charges on us and be trying to lock us up. But we need to go down there and say, look, y'all wrong about this. If these people walk away, we need every african-american person there is need to go down there need to be protesting something because they lied to the fbi martha stewart probably be out there trying to trying to uh protest you lied to the fbi you in trouble and they found and that's what they've been charged with of course you know they lied to the fbi because when they were questioned about it they lied now let me ask y'all a question this is something so if you lied to the SB fbi you're wrong but if you tell them the truth you're wrong too aren't you so what are you supposed to do? <laughs> you supposed to stay your ass out of trouble. I got it. But listen, they listen, guys. If they get no nothing for this, we all do need to protest. I'm not lying about this, y'all, because they lied to the FBI and they lied to the judge. Those are like two groups or individuals that you're, you know, that you don't lie to these people. You don't lie to the judge to get what you want, and then you lie to the FBI when you're questioned about it, and then. You got four officers going down there to do what they think is their job. And then they end up killing or deleting a young lady and shooting in other people's apartments, possibly real easily putting other people's lives in danger. Chaotic truth live joined. I mean, they did that. And you telling me they're going to walk away. Y'all, if they walk away, we got a, we got a real big problem. Let me bring Mr. Chaotic up and see. Oh, Chaotic, let's see your, um, show me your face, brother. Let me make sure you're who you are. 
you know how this goes. People uh, pretend to be other people all the time, and we don't want no chaos over here on SB Nation. But anyway, guys, all I'm saying is this. Um, there's got to be some fallout for this, and it just can't be a smack on the wrist. Did you see? Can you hear me? I can. Are you whispering? I am not. Okay. How you doing today, sir? I'm pretty good. Okay. So listen, I, I want to hear what you have to say about this because I know I know how you think, but I want to hear what you have to say. These these officers, these detectives, and the sergeant lied to the FBI and to the judge. What you have to say about this? Okay. First, let me try to make some corrections with the audio. I don't know why it's so loud. When I want it to be this loud, it's never this damn loud. Um, get, uh, sorry. Give me like uh, one or two minutes, okay? Let me try to fix this audio real quick. Okay, go ahead. Sorry about that. No, no, no problem. So anyway, um, y'all listen. I'm saying this all because listen, I like I said when I started, I work with police officers and de detectives all the time, and they've always treated me with the utmost respect. And I never thought that it required you conspiring or telling a lie to get the warrants or to do the um, searches or, you know, they, they pretty much have all types of leniency to anything they want to do. So why would you have to tell a lie to get what you want? So is this something here that I feel as though I'm missing? And it's a big part because they really wanted her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend. They really wanted him for whatever reason. I'm not sure. So uh, I'll be a weird, uh oh, it went away. But anyway, I'm just saying a weird technicality for why they get off, why they do. Ah, listen, they can't. They can't get out. Listen, it'll be something weird. I don't know what weird can be because they've already blasted them. They've already said that they met in the garage, y'all. They met in somebody's garage and talked about how they was going to get this thing going and put it together. So at some point in time, there was whistleblowing or somebody told it, you know, you know, when it got really, really hot, they decided to like, OK, 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 I'm going to tell it. But it was all after the fact. Too late. But I'm just trying to figure out what, what we're missing, because this young lady died behind this. And it still wasn't the officers who did the shooting. So they also were in some way victims. I know y'all are going to see it that way. But just think about this. What if this is a what if what if the officers that did the shooting actually were brought up on charges of murdering, deleting this young lady. There was one that, you know, I said him, it was Mr. Hankerson. I think his name is, he was brought up on charges of shooting, you know, in other dwellings. That's, that's what it was initially. Now they have brought him up on charges again too. And that was, um, he was charged with the prime Miss Taylor and her boyfriend, um, and neighbors, of firing what 10 bullets through windows, sliding doors and what have you. They've charged him with that too. But what if they would have been ch um, charged with actually the deletion of Ms. Taylor? What if that would have happened and they were not even supposed to be there? What then guys? It didn't happen. Praise the Lord. It didn't happen that way, but they did. They did. Somebody did delete that young woman. They did but there were no charges brought up against her. But now it's all wrong. We got to go all the way back. How do you peel off all these layers to get back to the original problem? And, and when we get back there, the original problem is what? Some would say the original problem is the boyfriend. And I would agree that he is the boyfriend doing illegal acts as far as selling drugs or what have you. But guess what? When the police officer started lying and conspiring to get to catch him, they became just as big as a problem as he was. Because again, if he's doing all these illegal acts, it wasn't going to be kept, kept a secret very long. That stuff ends. It comes to an end. You could have had enough information to arrest him. This woman would have gone on with her life with her new boyfriend and none of this would have come about. Now, would he have been in, you know, would the charges have stuck? Who knows? I don't know that situation. I don't even know what. He's doing what I've done, but obviously it was drugs. And obviously these people knew him well. Um, I don't know anything about Louisville, Kentucky, guys. Is, that, is it a large city? Miss Jennifer, is that a big, is that a large city or is it a small city? Joined. I don't know. Um, patriarchy. I'm going to bring you up. Why chaotic? Chaotic, are you ready? No. 
Patriarch, I'm going to go ahead and bring you up while Chaotic is getting his um, sound together. How are you doing today, sir? Amari, so what's the problem now? you saying that the cops should have went to jail? What's, what are you arguing for? No, I'm glad they didn't. I'm not arguing for none of that. What I'm saying is what if they would have been charged with her deletion and all because you remember the officers that actually did the deletion. Um, they didn't know that this was going on. They didn't know that the warrant wasn't valid. Chaotic truth. Legend. They didn't know. They didn't know. So they, they were doing their job and then they went over there and they also didn't know that it, uh, it was said that one of the charges was one of the detectives uh, said that. The so, the warrant, so the warrant wasn't valid. Where are you getting that information from? The warrant wasn't valid because they lied to get it. Who is they? The two detectives. There's, there's, there's two detectives and a sergeant. One was named um, Joshua James and Miss Goodlett. There's. Uh -oh. there's Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. All right, I'll wait for you. How you doing, SB? What's up, Patriarchy? We're How doing good. Let me let me let me tell Patriarchy about this. Oh, really yeah, quick. tell yeah, tell it to me. Okay, so what happened? What they found out, they brought them up on federal charges because they, in order to get the warrant, they've said that Miss Taylor's previous boyfriend is receiving packages at her house, and okay. also that his current address was her house or was her apartment. Okay. Also, they said to get the warrant that the um, police, the Louisville Police Department SWAT team requested there be a no knock warrant. But we know that that's not true because we know they knocked on the door. Well, listen, no, no, not forget that. They all they, this is all the things they put into their request to get the warrant. Where are you getting this information from? The New York Times. OK, so all this was taken to the judge. <clears throat> The judge says, under these circumstances, I'm just trying to figure out how the judge might have been thinking. Go ahead and I'm going to give you the warrant. And that's what he did. Now we're finding out and they've been bought. Charges have been brought against these four people. The fourth person was the initial also officer that shot into other dwellings. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to include him. We're just talking about the three others. Um, now we're finding out that um, the two sergeant, not the two sergeant, the two detectives actually put this together in a garage. They were in the garage talking about, you know, how we're going to get this going or what we need to do. And mm -hmm. I'm fine. I don't know anything about an informant, but someone in the comment section said what happened was the informant was supposed to drop off the package, but it didn't work or they didn't do their part. So I don't know anything about that. That's not, of course, in this New York Times article. But anyway, um, interesting. So yeah. So what happened is all of that is now a lie. That's not what happened. He did not live there. There were no packages being delivered. And the police department did not request a no knock yeah. warrant. Yeah. Just like we were lied to. She was sleeping in her bed. It was a no knock warrant. And those two things were not true. I can agree with that. Okay. I can I can agree with that. I have some I have some ideas about that. It doesn't sound perfect. She, she was an EMT. Yeah. We were lied to, too, about this person. I don't know about all that. I have. Yeah. I didn't investigate dead, her. Dead, bo dead body in the trunk of the rental car. <laughs> Fernandez Bowman. I can see. Guess, guess his, guess his life doesn't like matter. Me. Let's stay focused on this right here. Why? These are all, these are all details saying, that are pertinent to the case. Not this part. Really? So, so, so having a dead body in the trunk of your rental car, right? No, no. Listen, Brianna. Yeah. Brianna Taylor is is deleted. She's she's passed away. So, so what, is whatever, the, so the guy who was in the trunk of a rent a car? I have no idea. So listen to what I'm saying. Don't even know about that, do you? Oh, yeah, I've heard about it. But listen, oh, okay. to what I'm saying. I didn't investigate her. She, she, whatever happened with her it happened. Only thing I questioned earlier on about it was when you're shooting into a dwelling that's dark, we typically shoot towards where the flash is. And the person who said he was doing the oh, shooting yeah. did not get shot. That yeah, was yeah. my. Okay, and you know that through your experience of kicking absolutely, indoors. Absolutely. Oh, no, so not really, how, how, many, how many years hold did you hold on, on the hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Not kicking indoors, just shooting in the dark. So you were right. a, a, a nighttime shooter yourself? You have to be. Well, well how about, you know, how but about wait a minute, you go give the no. Louisville Police Department lessons on how to shoot people then? I'm pretty sure that Listen. they can't wait to get lessons from you. I don't know. I don't know. But we're not going to do this over here at SB Nation because oh, right just, now, we're, so right now, because I'm not the subject. I'm yeah. not the subject. With the subject is, you ready for the subject? The subject the is the federal officials charge four officers in Breonna Taylor's raid. Now, mm. would you like to talk about that?
Yeah, I mean, it's so funny to me, you know, black people and their inconsistencies. One minute, the FBI is poisoning our community and the FBI is taking out our leaders. And the next minute, oh, minute. the Tell FBI me. is justified. So I Take guess- Jackie. Tell us more so about what you're talking me. about. It's, so, it's, just, it's just funny how people switch sides. What one minute, mean? one minute, the FBI took out, one minute, the FBI is an organization that cannot be trusted. The next minute- Okay, who said that? Have you not heard that? No, I haven't heard that. Really? FBI so black people, trusted. black people as a whole are fans of the FBI? Well, let me share something with you so you can <laughs> listen. Listen, let me just share something with you. I happen to believe in good and evil. I think there are good people yeah. in every facet of business that you Was can have. Brianna ever Taylor that. a good person? I don't know Brianna, but listen to what listen Thank to what God I'm you saying. don't listen to what I'm saying. I happen to believe there are good people in every facet of business, whatever you do. I work with the police officers every single day, detectives and what have you, the sheriff's department, all that. Just in my <clears throat> life, I know that there are good ones and I know that there are bad ones. So I happen to appreciate the boys in blue. Will I call them? Absolutely. So the FBI has a job to do. And again, um, I believe that they have a job to do and I believe there are good ones and there are bad ones. So I'm not necessarily talking about the FBI in that aspect, but I can tell you this. They said that these um, detectives actually lied to the FBI. And I think the question is now, will these detectives have to pay for them lying to the FBI and the judges or will they just walk away? I myself I think you don't lie to the FBI. How do you know? Well, the, the FBI lies. They may, but I'm saying you what don't, do you mean we don't they lie may? to the FBI. They may. Because there are good people and there are bad people. I haven't, I don't know. Do you know who J. Edgar Hoover is? Do you know the history of the FBI? This has do you nothing know, to do. Do you know what they did to Martin Luther King? Do you, are you, uh, Malcolm X, are you aware of what they, I mean, Breonna Taylor, Breonna Taylor was fulfilling. I am quite their, aware what they did. No, and like I said, but, like but I, I said, but there but are say, good people. Listen to what I'm saying. See, if you hear what I'm saying, it would take care of everything that you're yeah. saying. Because there are good people in every facet of business. FBI included police department included all everywhere. There's someone there that's willing to do something that is unethical. So I'm agreeing with you in that aspect, but I'm not saying just because someone in the FBI did this. Oh, the whole FBI is this way. I'm not willing to step out and say that or the whole all the police officers. We should be against them because there are some bad ones. I'm not willing to do that. So how do you make the determination in this case? I think Brianna Taylor, I do think Brianna Taylor was fulfilling the dreams of the FBI. The FBI historically has been an organization which has poisoned black communities and Brianna Taylor was doing their job. Brianna Taylor lived a life of poisoning the black community and that's what the FBI has wanted. But you know, this wasn't about Brianna Taylor. This was about her boyfriend. Oh, so Brianna Taylor was doing nothing in this entire case. I don't know what Breonna Taylor was doing. Breonna Taylor life wow. lost her life in this particular case. Well, maybe what I'm talking to you about, what I'm talking to you about, no, I'm just telling you what's important right now. And I don't need to do research on Breonna Taylor. There's a lot of Breonna Taylors out there. It doesn't, that doesn't mean anything to me. I'm telling you what means something to me right now is that they lied. And if they're lying and they, the, the detectives, the police department, they lied to get this. Listen, let me say this. When, when you're wrong, when a person is wrong, yeah. I think that's enough. I don't think I should have. I don't have to lie on you, uh, Patriarch. I don't have to lie on you. Do you trust the FBI? Do I trust them? No, I yeah. trust myself. The same FBI that lied about a dossier about Russia for the last three years. I, the, I the understand. Same organization. Hey, listen, the people. People same organization have, that illegally spied on Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. You absolutely. believe that or you trust that organization? I, no, no, what, listen, there are people, like I said again, there are good and evil in all places. And you should know that. Yeah, and there wasn't anything good in that apartment that night. I'll say I that. Can't, yeah, listen, I, you know, that's your, you can make that statement if you want to. I don't know those people. It's I do truth. know that the story is a little bit off. From, from what they're saying. But again, I wasn't there. I'm just You're going not to receiving on. any information. Merrick Garland has not like literally put anything out. You're going off of a, of a news article with no data right. in it whatsoever. And you that, know, and that, FBI, and that's why we're not talking about, that's why we're not talking about the data. We're talking about them being brought up on charges for lying. And that can you stay right there? If you can, I understand. Okay, well, I'm just saying that I don't trust the organization that is bringing them up on the charges and the charges that they're bringing up th them up on 
haven't even been made public. What, what are well, yes, they have been made. They've been made public. You Why referenced you a New York Times article. No, I saw this initial. No, I'm referencing one now. I This was done. I saw this actually when it, they did a news break. Okay. <laughs> they had a news break and said those four officers are being brought up on charges. Oh, wow. And but that, that makes it all better. Well, listen, it happened. That's how I know. Mm -hmm. What you got, patriarchy? Tell me. I don't trust the FBI. And I think that the, I think that anybody, I just think that, you know, I think that, like I said, I think Breonna Taylor was fulfilling the dreams of the FBI. The FBI, historically, according to a lot of people in the Department of Justice, has wanted to destroy black communities, right? That's I can what it, okay, so Breonna Taylor was doing that. I can with her that. lifestyle and what she was pushing out to her community or whatever, right, or lack thereof, is what the FBI always wanted. It's so funny to me how we have all of these people that will say historically, oh, they, they, they spied on Fred Hampton. Oh, they spied on Martin Luther King. They, they wanted to destroy the black community with, with drugs. But then they'll turn around and applaud the same drug dealers. You are it's exactly so funny right. Listen, to me. Hold it's on for a minute. Yeah, laugh about it. It's, yeah, hold on for one moment. Because it's Chaotic, funny. You, hold on for a minute. Chaotic, can you hear me? Chaotic? I is here. Okay, you eyes, you is here. So yeah. chaotic. Um, I want to, but but before I go to come to you, chaotic, um, patriarchy. I wanted to say this to you. This is, and and everything you're saying may be very well true. There is something going on, but this is about the two detectives and the sergeant, um, making things up to get what they want, and it goes back to what you just said. If she indeed was the person, uh, part of the drug cartel or whatever just let her do what she does and catch her that way you shouldn't have to create a whole lie around anything that she's doing in order to trick someone else to involve other people to make sure she gets caught okay so are we upholding all federal charges now i don't know what they're going to do for that part okay because but, but, Tamika, but Tamika Mallory, charged. the person the person that pushed this Tamika Mallory um intimidated a, a, a um, an attorney general and those charges were thrown out so yeah. so this this is the whole thing about the law if you want you, you can't pick and choose when you want to be when you want to uphold the law if we're holding all laws then let's hold all laws i can agree with that okay because it doesn't make sense to me that that i see a picture of tamika mallory who should be in federal custody for, for, for intimidating the attorney general and sitting outside of his house Right. Yeah. OK, so we'll, we'll just see where this goes. But for ter in terms of Breonna Taylor, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not I wasn't in the fan club. I personally think uh, black lives matter. And if black yeah. lives matter, then Fernandez Bowman's life matter when he was fit, found dead in a rental car. Right. OK, so I agree with all that. I agree with you. Um, chaotic. Yo, can you hear me? OK, so go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do the super chat before you speak. I excel. Thank you so much for your five dollar super chat. Is that I can't justify her death, but it must be acknowledged that when you sleep with dogs, you get fleas. You're right. Influence is very, very big. Not to be insensitive, but she opened Pandora's box. I can agree with that. So chaotic. What you got to add to this stuff? What SB, do you have to add to this, brother? SB, you know I love you. You love me, yes. I I, I think you're a great content creator. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna have to agree with this high yellow nigga right here. Patriarchy strikes back. But he first, of all, tell me what I said that you don't agree with. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that you didn't say. It's 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 that you aren't really tackling what Eric is saying right now. The FBI in the '50s and in the '60s conducted covert operations against MLK, against Malcolm X, and against other influential black individuals and institutions. Oh, yeah. Um, he is absolutely right about Fred Hampton. Um, he is absolutely right about everything that he's saying about the FBI. Black people uh, have uh, said that they don't trust the FBI. Now we are supposed to believe that now that the FBI is charging these individuals with this crime or with uh, the, the death of Breonna Taylor, we are supposed to trust the FBI. And he is right. The very same FBI that has worked against in the past black people. So uh, Eric brings data and he brings facts in, in this argument. Um, he's not being inflammatory. Uh, he's being very concise. And I think that we need to tackle that. Uh, and he's also right. Breonna Taylor was the very uh, 
she is actually the enemy of the black community. Um, when you sell drugs to your own people, when you um, when you harbor individuals that do that, in my opinion, you are an enemy of your black people. You are providing poison or you, you are supplying poison to your people. And every uh, thing that led up to her life until that day was a result of her poor patterns of behavior. And you know, I, 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 you know, I don't really have anything inflammatory or long-winded to say on this one. I agree with Eric. I think we should probably end the show. He's absolutely right. Y'all can't end my show, though. That's the only thing. <laughs> this is the crazy no, part about it. He, he, <laughs> but but no, let, right. let me say this. I agree. I don't think y'all understanding what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I agree and absolutely know exactly what you're saying, but that's not the point. What is the point? What is the point? The point is, the point is, the detectives had to lie. According That's to the what? That's what I'm dealing with. Listen, just, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, chaotic. I'm I mean, telling listen, you this. Go ahead, go ahead, everything you're reading is vague. Oh. Even this guy, right? Hold on a second. Even this person, this, well, that's a woman. Even the woman below. When you look at CNN, when you look at the New York Times, you're not telling me how they lied. And then I look up, when I'm looking up who brought these charges up, it was a newly founded civil rights organization probably some diversity hire at the FBI who came like these institutions can be infiltrated by people of all backgrounds. So was she convicted for selling drugs? I thought we were innocent until proven guilty. No, she wasn't convicted of selling drugs. Whoever said that, right? I don't, it doesn't, I mean, well, she didn't stand trial, but I know this, it, but I know this, if, if that's your logic, those four officers were proven innocent by their local court of law. This is the federal government expanding their power. This, exactly. has, been, this has been politicized. The, the, they already had a trial for these officers. They already did an investigation. It was thrown out. The FBI chose to pick this up because the FBI has now been infiltrated by BLM. The people who were in BLM now control the seat of power in this country. So, of course, they're going to be on some type of grudge and go after the people who, sh who shot into this apartment. That's all this is. This is a grudge. The FBI is, is an organization like any other organization. So It's been infiltrated. So, Patriarchy, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're saying. This has got to play itself I'm out. I'm on our security Even bosses, uh, platform. I'm sorry? Oh, sorry. I w sorry. Let me, let me mute. Sorry. Mm. Okay, so patriarchy, this is what I'm saying to you. What you're saying may be correct, but this is not about Brianna. This is about the detectives. And what even if them? they, because Bri Brianna has been deleted and it, the, the warrant wasn't for Brianna. It was supposed to be for her boyfriend. It was supposed to be for her boyfriend. We've already gone through, the trials, are, they already had a trial over this. Why is the FBI picking this back up? It's picking it back up. Because, because now, I got to get up out of here. All right. All right. Chaotic. Thank you for being here. Because now, now the people from BLM work in the FBI. I Listen, I can agree with that. I did see something about Black Lives Matter on there. You are exactly right. Because all okay, the protests. Okay, so that's a conflict of interest. I, I agree with you. But if if it, but listen, we got to let this play out because Somebody, if, if we do. So, if, hold, on, hold on a second. Highlight the last one. So BLM and FBI are the same. Huh? Do you, somebody, somebody said, do you not remember certain people? in certain sketchy uniforms during those riots? Do you not remember some people that I never seen this person in the neighborhood wearing all black no. and you couldn't <laughs> see their face? In the, what are you talking about? <laughs> Great like, just, listen. Like, but listen, this is what's here now. They have to answer to these charges. They've already been charged with it. So you're saying can, that you think that they're lying. You think that this is made up. Look made at the up. FBI's track record. Have you ever seen the movie Richard Jewell? I listen. I've seen a like, lot. Bro, okay. I'm not going to tell you how many things I've seen. I understand what you're saying, but if this is found to be true, then we got a problem. You thinking this? The FBI is just making I it all up. The, the, this is what happened when they talked about when 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 a certain politician came in and they talked about draining the swamp. The FBI was a part of that. Our intelligence community, the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, they don't have our best interest at heart. They're okay. politicized organizations. These are the same people that gave Hillary Clinton a particular server. These are the same people that came mm -hmm. up with a fake dossier 
for Russian disinformation. These are the same people that concealed Hunter Biden's laptop. How can you trust this organization? We're not trusting them. We're but not you're trusting, trusting them. them on these charges, though. I'm I have no choice but to trust them on these charges. They're the ones that are because yeah. listen, I'm not giving a conclusion. I'm not giving a conclusion. I'm saying to you, this is what's getting ready to happen. This is what's happening. Okay. I'm so paying you're just attention. Stating it. Exactly. This is a joke. <laughs> listen, I have, like I said initially, I have questions about the shooting in the beginning. All in the beginning. I had questions okay. about it. It didn't make sense to me either. But, you know, it walked itself out the way that it did. Now, now we're here at a different place. I want to know if these things are true, if, if indeed they got together in the garage and put this conspiracy together to go knock on this girl's door, to kick down the door, to shoot somebody. I need to know that. You I already that. knew it. No, I didn't know it was conspired. No, I didn't. It's no. already been investigated. No, so, but so when, hold on a second. Saying, so security, so security, security, hold on a second. No, no. So hold on a second. Let me let me say that. Let me let me give hold you an example. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on a second. Let me let me give hold you an example. Hold down though, so I can understand let, you. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay. Let's say you were in a car wreck, right? And your local judges, right, mm -hmm. investigated that car wreck, right? And it was determined through due process that you did nothing wrong in that car wreck. Case thrown out. Now, the people whose family was in that car wreck run for political office and they win political office and then they decide to investigate you again after the case has already been thrown out. It's politicized. It's already gone through its process. The federal government is, is literally overstepping their bounds with this. So let me give you my example of what you just said. If I was in a car accident and the other family members or what have you, but after I was in a car accident, after someone did some research or after I came, just say I came to and I was talking to Mr. Boss about the, the, the car accident. And I said, you know, um, yesterday I had some tires put on the, the car or what have you, you know, and they went back and did some little fixing or looking at the car, evaluating the car more. And they found that someone had uh, done something to my tires or to the front end of my car. Yeah. And I come home or Mr. Ball says, you know what? We might need to have this looked at because this could have been what caused you to have this accident. Mm -hmm. Then he would definitely have whomever judge or what have you, FBI, whoever, federal government, whoever yeah. look into the fact that someone may have altered my car or altered my brakes, causing me to have the accident. Whereas when the, when it was tried, tried, no one knew about it. But now, for whatever reason, I don't know what would bring us back to it because I really don't know what brought us back to it. Okay. So but why are we now looking? So the fact that we went back and we looked over my car again, or I maybe remembered something I didn't remember, I don't know. Now yeah. we're looking at the car again and we found that there may be some contributing factors to this situation. So then I would me, want. So, so number one, certain entities have to disclose information, right? Right. The FBI is not one of those entities. Right. There's a certain statute from what I remember of when they disclose the information of how they arrived at this. So like when they were spying on Martin Luther King or when they were like spying on Malcolm X, so many years had to pass before they can release that information. There's nobody who is holding the FBI in check. Nobody. The FBI can operate with impunity. And they're doing so in this case. And I'm saying I wouldn't trust the organization, which has been so historically wrong on this. Even yeah. if you look up the last couple of years, they've been wrong in the things that they've done. The FBI is now a political organization. The FBI is the new Gestapo. It's going to okay. serve the will. It's going to serve. It's, it's an it's a organization that has run amok. And it has no accountability to anybody. And that organization has been infiltrated by left-leaning people who work for the government who have a specific agenda in their mind. I can believe that. The same thing with the CIA. The same thing with the NSA. The same thing with all of the other parts of it. The ATF. They're, they all operate under the Department of Justice. And these people operate with no accountability whatsoever. They can do whatever they like to do. Right. I.e. Waco. 
so so chaotic chaotic is that you this is me okay so hold on for one second mr Steele, dr Steele, how are you doing tonight hey i'm doing fine and you doing well hold on one second and i want to ask patriarchy patriarchy one question do you trust the police all right patriarchy, um, do you trust the police no you don't no but I, I trust my local government a lot more than I do my federal government. Okay. Especially okay. when it comes to accountability. Okay. The, the, your local police department have more measures in place for you to, do, to for you to complain. They have a bigger, they have a more, um, they have a more transparent, they have a more, they have a more trans, okay. They have a more transparent, internal affairs they have more there are more ways for you to complain with your local police department than there is for you to complain against the fbi okay. there's more things that you can do in terms of internal affairs and transparency there's more transparency from your local government and your local issues than there is for federal things federal mm -hmm. things have a certain limit in which that information becomes available so for the fbi well how did you get this information we, we want to talk about all the illegal you're, you're trying to say they're trying to tell me that there were illegal things that were done for them to get this warrant. Well, how did you get information on this police department? I know there wasn't a trial, but there still was an investigation done by the attorney general. Gia, come on. OK, it says that. But hold that thought, because we all I think we are saying the same thing. We're questioning what is going on. But if this is found to be true, there's a problem. But you're saying I'm not going to it can't be true because the FBI can't be trusted. I trust local police. I trust the local. I don't. I'm not the biggest fan. Okay, of police. so, so guess what? Hold on, hold on. If there's levels, I'm not the biggest fan of police, right? Okay. But I trust local police, and there's more transparency into local police and what local police are doing. You can buy a police scanner and see what local police are doing. You can you can go up to a station and see what local police are doing. Try that with the FBI. Try to see what FBI agents are doing. And you may find yourself in a certain uncompromising position. I definitely believe that. But listen to this: the uh, local police were one of the are one of the entities that said that they lied on them. They did not ask for. They did not request a no knock warrant. So the local police is saying the same thing. They're saying no, 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 no. Don't. Basically, we didn't do that. We didn't ask for a no knock warrant. That's something somebody else said that's not true about us. But hold your thoughts, um, Doctor Eugene. Can you hear me? I'm doing. I'm doing yeah, can you hear me? I can. Go ahead, sir. Tell us what you think about this. You know, the bottom line is this. We have a, a local leadership who are, you know, you know, forming a conspiracy. Okay? And as you said, you know, they they've lied to the judge about getting this uh, warrant, getting that excuse to go in people's place and, sh and, and shoot up somebody, okay? Forget what the motive of the FBI is, okay? We all know their history, okay? I don't really, I, mean, I don't trust them either, but this is not about the FBI, okay? This is about what happened to Breonna Taylor as a result of what their local leadership did, okay? And, you know, you know, you know, did something, you know, or what have you, forget all that, okay? The bottom line is, while she was sleeping, bullets... Mm-mm. Mr. Steele, we can't hear you. You're going out. You're going in and out. No. Sorry about that. Look at God. Okay. Uh, Drop down and call us right back when you get to a better spot. You're traveling, aren't you? Yeah, guys, I don't trust the FBI, but I trust them in this case. I trust them when I want to trust them. So, chaotic, you're sense. back. Chaotic. I'm back. I, okay. I, um, okay, so I continue with your thoughts. Well, I mean, I didn't really um, 
have a, I mean, I have a thought on it, but it's outside the parameters of what Eric has been talking about. Um, now, I do disagree. Uh, I, well, I can't disagree. I mean, he has much of his opinion, but I support the police. I am very pro local law, local law enforcement. Uh, I understand what Eric is talking about or his sentiments about federal um, law enforcement agencies. But, you know, we don't really deal with um, federal agencies as common uh, per se. So, you know, you're likely your most encounters will always primarily be with local law enforcement agencies. Um, but I wonder well, what is going on here? Why are these individuals being charged? Is it is it because of, you know, um, you know, the, the, the liberal push? to always make the black man a victim or right. i mean what, what, what's going on here you know hold on a second i got i got some breaking news for you i'm sorry i did not do the research go uh, look at the people who charged her the person that the person that charged wow. them her, the person <laughs> the person that charged them was Kristen clark put in a position by joe biden go 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 look up a, go look up a picture of her face Go look. Her, go look her up. No, no conflict of interest here at all, right? Go look up. That's who charged. Her. That's who brought up the charges. Kristen Clark. Go look it up. And by the way, Gia Homed, whatever you are, if you're gonna get your information, make sure you get it correct. There was no trial, so da da da. There was a trial in Louisville, no. and, they found, and, they, and, the, and the, the charges were thrown out. So you're wrong. So, yeah, this is a conflict of interest. No, this woman was you're talking about two different things. She's talking yeah. about you're talking about the original trial against the police officers. I think she's talking about a trial for the being against her, violating her constitution. No, 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 no. There was, there was a trial. There was a trial for, for Madison. Hold on a second. Eric, I don't, I don't, I don't, Eric, I don't Hank see her. Eric, okay, I don't see, hold on a second. I don't see hold, her name. Do no, no, go, go look it up. Her name is Kristen Clark. Kristen, Kristen Clark. Clark. Go look it up. And she was appointed in this position. Okay. And Joe Biden put her in this position last year. And she's pro BLM. Conflict of interest. Oh, of course. Of course. See, now the inmates run the asylum. This ain't this ain't about no due process of law. This is about revenge. Now, mm -hmm. ma now, now Mammy's now Mammy works for the FBI. So of course I got to go. Hold after on, this. Tell us about the revenge. Slow down. Tell us about the revenge. Or revenge saying, against who? Re revenge against these officers. But this is not the officers. These are not the officers who did who the shooting. These, these are these are the detectives that put this thing together. This is not the people that actually did the so shooting. So there was no officers who, who were charged? The officers that were charged, just like you said, they've no. been acquitted. They let them go. Only no, one. Madison, no, Madison was charged. Hold on a second. No, no, no the officers Hankerson, are charged. Hank, no, listen. The, initially, the four officers, Hankerson was the only one charged for shooting into other people's homes. He's the only one that's been charged. These three people now, or the four people now, is he's been charged again, and then two detectives and a sergeant. These are oh, two so, separate so, people. So, so, so no, these me, are separate. So me. Yes. Um, so I did look up the woman, and I do remember her appointment. Yep. Um, I just didn't remember her name, but I do remember this woman. Uh, yep. She was recently appointed by Biden. And again, this is what I keep on saying. Um, there are powers that be that want the black man to be in a position of constant foolery okay so whenever you blacks do anything wrong the police will be arrested they will be charged they will yep. be in prison so continue to act like uh, i'm not going to curse sb but continue Please to don't. act like animals and destroy your cities destroy your neighborhoods because you know what you're not ever going to be held accountable because you know what we're going to do? We're going to put blacks in power, the DAs, federal judges, et cetera, et cetera. This black woman should not have charged those police officers. See, now now I'm starting to see Eric is making a lot of sense here. OK, He's but listen, we got to make sure we're on the same. Everybody's look, talking about the same on, thing. On, 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 on this woman, before she was appointed on August 28th, 2020, on her on her Twitter, She's literally with one of the lawyers that works in the FBI talking about Black Lives Matter. And then she was appointed in by Joe Biden. This is a conflict of, this is about revenge. This is a conflict of interest. 
This is a conflict of interest. So patriarchy, this, this is why we this is why we're having this the conflict. Woman was put, this is the woman who charged these people. OK, but listen, this is the reason why we're having this conversation. If this is a conflict of interest, which I can see why you would say that. And these are lies that's been held against these people that are not true. When we need to know this, we need to know that there's a group of people that can make three officers or two detectives and a sergeant. So, again, now they're victims if this is indeed not true. But if it has any amount of truth to it, we got another problem. The thing is this. And this is not the, let me make sure you understood. These are not the original officers that did the shootings. These are the oh, people, this is the detectives that, you know, got the warrant and supposedly conspired to get this going. This is what we're trying to find out. If they didn't do this, then we need to know. Uh, apparently, they were called in by the FBI. So that's why the FBI had something to do with it, because they were called in by the FBI and asked a series of questions. And apparently, it's been found that they lied to the FBI. It's not this, like the FBI is bringing these charges against them. It didn't start that way. This this has nothing to do like this is this has everything to do with with conflict of interest. When I'm I, when the person that brought the charges was Kristen Clark. When I look up what Kristen Clark says n now, I'm, I'm seeing even more information. Ted Cruz, Hawley, Mitch McConnell. None of these people wanted her in because she wanted to in, in some forms or fashion to restructure police departments. She is a she mm. was pro BLM. And this is the woman who charged them. And she was appointed by Biden. So let's see what she's going to do. So now, we, so now, so what, what's going on now is you saw who Conflict it was. Conflict of interest, man. It could be. But guess what? Does it make it wrong? Yeah. Oh, so you're saying, okay, yeah. so you're saying. It's, just not an, it's not an objective perspective. This is not some, this is somebody with an agenda who now holds power and use that power to go after people that they were against two years ago. Patriarchy, listen to this. She had a problem with these officers before she was ever even appointed. Okay, but that if listen, if that is true, but what they've been charged with or what they did is either they did it or they didn't. So you're saying that because she has a conflict of interest and she's yes. against these officers, you're saying she's now planted evidence against these officers. Yes. Well, that's what we need to see. Okay, so for me, it's like I, I, I'm looking at the person I'm looking at this person's history, bro. It, this is like, yeah, she's she's motivated by revenge. You know what? And you could be right, but that's what we're waiting to see. That's why we're having this conversation. I haven't said not one way or left or right, but if somebody has to conspire to make me wrong, I have a problem with that. Okay. I have a real big problem with that. Well, she's conspired. I mean, she's running the FBI now. And she has an agenda. She's going after all these other groups that don't. She's pro BL. She's a, a, she's pro BLM, and she's now in charge of the FBI. Like she now has power at the FBI. What else am I supposed? Am I am I really supposed to s s suspect that somebody like that is going to look at things objectively? Well, hopefully she won't be the only one looking at it. It doesn't matter. She has power, and she's using it. Mm, she's a woman, but still. Okay. I think that this affirmative hiree, affirmative action hiree, is doing a great disservice. Exactly. To this country. Absolutely. Well, I can believe in that, but still, either either this happened or it didn't. If the if the local police department is saying flat out, we did not re what keeps happening, guys. Hold on one second, y'all. I don't know. They listening. My system keeps. They listen. <laughs> of course, oh, good. That, but that's, that's exactly what's going on. That would be a good thing. Listen, mm -hmm. if the local police department is saying we did not request a no knock warrant for this this address if they're just flat out saying that they didn't they didn't and then somebody else did got a warrant saying that they did then we have a problem we have a problem when somebody who supports an organization who in my opinion is a borderline terrorist organization is now working in the fbi hold on for a minute patrick i want you to say that again Something's happening to our, uh... okay, it's off. Okay, so say that again once more. I'm sorry. I was just checking. Okay, I think we have a problem when somebody that is a member or a pro BLM is now working in the FBI. They're going to use that power. Like they're going to use that power to go after the things that they disagree with. And that includes these officers. 
Okay, patriarchy, guess what? I have people I deal with every day that say that they're not feminist, but they talk and move like feminists. And, what she's, and this woman is a feminist. This That's woman what I'm at. That's my point. Out. That's the point I'm trying to make to you. What do you do? What well, do you do? What do you mean? Again, well, number one, well, number people, one you, you try to be diplomatic. This exactly. Is That's it. That's the answer. That doesn't mean that they're that doesn't mean that they're ruling out of out of righteousness. That doesn't mean what they're doing is righteous. I'm just mm -hmm. saying this. What's gonna happen? I mean, like Chaotic just said it. These 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 mammies that are getting in positions of oh. power, right? They're gonna soften up laws. How many black people in Louisville's crime rate is out of control right now? Mm. They're more motivated. They, they don't, people like this woman, they don't love black people. They just hate white people. There's two, com those are two completely different things. You don't care yep. about what's good about for black people. You just care about hating white people. Mm, okay. It's all about going after white people. That's all it's about. It's not about what's going to improve your own communities or what's going to improve the people that you love. You're just motivated by revenge and you're clouded by hatred. You can't even see the people that you claim to love. Because nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, would be would be giving priority or, or, or worshiping or or you know making a celebrity out of somebody who's a drug dealer when we have little kids that are being murdered in the streets every day. I agree with that. Okay. I totally agree with that. I do. But even with that, boss, yes. uh, I think you should actually calm down and just let Eric take over the show. No, but, good. Um, this man is see, this listen, man is about to have a viral moment, man. This this I'm, I'm, listen, the I'm word trying of the to, Lord right now. I'm trying he doing what? He's speaking the word no. of the Lord right now. No, no he's not speaking the word of the Lord. <laughs> We 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 gonna bless him though. But listen, he's actually doing very well, and I agree with what you just said. I don't think we should be glorifying or glamorifying drug dealing. I don't. I don't. I didn't even agree with the shooting, the the explanation that we had. But I didn't devote my attention to this. But this got my attention because if anyone is conspiring conspiring to make somebody wrong that's already wrong, I have a problem with that because that doesn't that doesn't make sense to me. The FBI is wrong. I listen again, I say <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. So I'm always looking for what makes sense. Now, it's nothing much I can do about it, but I'm gonna have my questions. I'm gonna question certain things. And right now, this is what I'm questioning. And Patriarch, you can feel the any way you want. I mean, I appreciate the fact that no, you, you you know agree with that. And I didn't I didn't know where these charges came from. I do now. And now and now now from a quick Twitter search of her page and from a quick history of her background and then to see who she would who appointed her it all makes sense this is about this is about revenge this isn't there's nothing because i don't even have data on how you know that they lied how do you know that they lied no I, all i'm hearing is stories from cnn i'm not seeing any i'm not seeing any information i'm not seeing any evidence at all well there must there had to be some um there had to be some sort of uh for them to do it, there had to be no, no. something there for them to do no, it. No, no, for them to have, they're being charged for lying to the FBI. So there had to be some sort of, there was some time, I don't know when, I thought it was a dead issue, but there okay. was some time, some There's period no of time when they, this at all. I, I, there had to be a time where they had to be, um, the FBI was called, or they were called in to speak to the FBI where they told a lie. So, so nope. federal charges were brought up because of that. Yeah, because the FBI the is such a. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> and also the, police department the local police department had some questions yeah, okay. and you know there's been some things and then the judge yeah, you know right. but this is a problem though chaotic i mean not chaotic excuse me patriarchy this is that's the problem so because right now that means somebody can be put together can put Black together Board something on you network joined and 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 they, it just it just works out that, because that's that's been historically what the fbi has done and i got and a problem been, with and it and that's what been is? historically with people like this blm like this is like a new this person has an agenda, okay? They have an agenda. They're using a subversive organization to further their agenda. And honestly, she's fulfilling the FBI's original intent. If you claim that the FBI, uh, see, see, this is one thing I know. This is one thing I know. Uh, sweet tea and, and piss can't come out of the same pipe, okay? <laughs> so either the FBI is bad and they're bad and they have been bad, or they're good. Mm -hmm. See, all this flip-flopping people like Dr. Steele want to do, oh, I don't trust the FBI, but I trust them right now. You see, that's what I'm talking about, okay? That, that, I, don't, I don't trust this organization at all. And I don't trust people who are pro-Brianna Taylor. I don't, listen, 
But I, I don't like drug why dealers. Would say, why would you say she's? Why would you say that he would be pro Breonna Taylor? I don't think this is about being pro Breonna Taylor. They are. But if someone lied and went to her home and she was killed due to a whole bunch of lies, then that would mm -hmm. be wrong. Even if she was selling, you know, drugs. I mean, I'm just saying you, you don't know. I'm just saying that that a community is based upon its upon its heroes and villains. Mm -hmm. oh, you want to change? You, you want to change? You want to change a group of people? You want to change a group of people from being the most church going to the biggest standard of morality to the most married and most financially independent group in the country, and fifty years later to the most degenerate group? You change their heroes and you change their villains. We have now made villains and dope dealers the heroes. And we've made heroes who are anti-gang and anti-violence, uh, unnecessary violence. We've made them the villains. That is what has happened, okay? And that's exactly what we're seeing right now in this entire case. That's exactly what we saw in, in BLM. I'm not going to idolize dope dealers and people who overdose, okay? I don't, I, don't have a, I don't care about them at all, all right? I don't, especially when you're poisoning the people that you live around. I don't. I admire people that I want my children to be like. So what you're saying is. I want my is, cousins to be like. So what you're saying, if this was something that was done by the FBI, they're wrong and they're conspired. They do things wrong. And if Brianna actually sold drugs, which I think there definitely was an affiliation with it, she's wrong and she sold drugs. So is that we're just even. Is that where you are? I'm saying that we're not. We, we may not be even. Right. I'm saying that, number one, I don't trust the FBI. Okay. The FBI as an organization historically has been terrible. I don't trust the woman who brought these charges. I don't trust even some of the local politicians in Kentucky. And I don't trust the family of Breonna Taylor. And I don't trust Ben Crump. And I don't trust Tamika Mallory, who should be rotting in a jail cell for, um, for sitting on the AG's lawn, which is also a federal crime. But they chose to throw those charges out. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think Patriarchy, everybody that's touching this is foul in some form or fashion. Well, Patriarch, I'm gonna say this to you, and then we're gonna go to black man, but you can you could talk in a minute. But listen, what we know about Brianna is unless you know her, is what someone has already told us, or what has been reported in the news or by these articles. We don't I don't know her. So well, you know the officers lied. Well, no, listen, everything that we've received on her that I've heard has been through some other source. I don't know her. I'm gonna say that right there, and then we're gonna go to black man. Black man, I'm filtered. Mm -hmm. How are you, sir? Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Patriarch? How you doing, brother? How are you? Man, I've been trying to get you on my on my crib for a while, but anyway, I'm I'm gonna hop in real quick, man. Um, I um I uh, um, uh, black man unfiltered. Uh, what, what what's up, man? I, oh man, I ain't even see you down uh, in the corner, my brother. Uh, what's going yeah, on? Man? Yeah, what's, what's up? No, normally you be cammed up. Like, we don't see your face. It's hard. You get lost. Yeah. In the <laughs> chaotic is chaotic is scared to touch this situation. No, oh, I, I, I kind of am. No, you're not. Go yes. ahead. Go yes. ahead. Yes. Yes. watching me. <laughs> <laughs> they watching you. Got it. They watching you. Got it. And to the lovely security boss, how are you doing today, Shook? We doing very good. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely, absolutely. So, listen, I want to hop in real quick. Uh, now, I will say uh, that you know we. The security about start to show off, you know, really talking about Brianna and talking about the situation with Brianna and these cops being crooked and all this other stuff. And, and and I mean, it may be some truth to that. It may not be. However, I will say this to bounce off of what everybody has been saying. I do agree with the FBI and I hate I hate that I'm a just I hate that I'm a super nerd and know all this. But I but when it comes to the government. Probably the reason that uh, Mr. Strikes Back is uh, saying that he don't trust the government is because of probably Richard Nixon was the was the president when a lot of that stuff got started. Right. Am, am I right, uh, Mr. Patriarch? Am I, am Richard Nixon, right? No, I think it would predate that. Predate that. OK, cool. So so it, it started with that. And then you and then you had and then you had things you couldn't explain. You had uh, kids walk, running around with guns they couldn't afford. They couldn't buy bread, but they had fifteen hundred dollar semi-automatic weapons and you, I mean, you had a lot of stuff going on so i think that you can't in a certain place you can't tr trust the government and i'll give you this um i was listening to just a few days ago i don't know if you anybody on the panel has heard this but uh there's this sheriff in mississippi and one of his officers recorded him and his and one of the officers recorded him and he said and everybody in the town loved him. he's beloved and he said um one of his cops shot somebody and deleted them 
And he said, hey, listen, if you need me to cover that up, we can cut. He recorded him. We can cover it up. Man, you don't know how many niggas I didn't kill in the 30 years of my career. I didn't kill a whole more than Breonna Taylor. No, uh -uh. no, no, no. This is in Mississippi. He said, I didn't you know how many niggas I didn't kill in, in my 30 year career and covered it up. I didn't put I didn't shot a man 50 sometimes and had the coroner change the records. And they got him on recording saying this. He one of the officers recorded him saying this. Sir. Uh what hold on, hold on. Let me look it up. Hold on. I'm, I can tell you right now. So that just goes back to the point where we were saying well, that I made, and then you said it too, uh Patriarch, but I said there's good and evil in every facet Was of Brianna the Brianna Taylor a good person. I don't know anything about Brianna Taylor, but what I've Based heard upon what you've heard. From what I've heard, is she a good person? I would say no. Okay. Yeah. But awesome. that would be, but that would be due to her affiliation. It wouldn't be of what they said she herself did. Just only okay. the affiliation. Have you ever had a? Have you ever? Have you ever taken a trip anywhere and rented a car and then a dead body just popped up, up in the, in the back of the car? Yeah. Lord, no. I hope that don't happen, Kaya. I hope that doesn't happen, Patriot. Have you ever made uh, bail runs to bail out people um, who were connected to crime? Have you ever like? No, I haven't. But again, like I said, it's the affiliations. People live their life are totally the way the way you live and the way that maybe I live in chaotic and, and uh black man, it may not be a lot of people live that way. That doesn't mean that she now she's definitely influenced by it. But what part did she play in it? I have no idea. Okay. I have none. But again, I also said this. We can't, I mean, she she was deleted. And I don't, you know. I only want to be how, how many how many people how many people are going to get deleted it we're it's Friday it's 6 p.m. within the next four hours how many black people are going to be deleted oh I have no idea Ooh, okay. I don't know okay I don't there know goes your deleted argument right I don't know well, what you mean so there goes your deleted <laughs> argument what argument was that okay she, she was, deleted. was deleted and what's your point she was what my point is this i never you never know your time or your day or what your life is going to be like yeah. well, you know well, you know it's going to be a lot you know you know it's going to be a lot shorter when you put yourself in uncompromising positions i think that was my point i'm glad you got it okay all right that like was said, my point without saying but you know it was it's not for me to say what you know when it's time for her to go or what she's done to you know have that kind of uncompromising <sighs> in or what have you you know, I don't know. But black men, are we waiting on black men to come with this information or what? what, what, what yeah, yeah, I got it. I just oh, okay. looked. I'm sorry. I was waiting for you. Go ahead. Yeah, it's from the Lexington uh, Police uh, Chief Sam Dobbins. His, his so, name is Sam, Sam Dobbins. So your, your point with him is you're saying that no. there's good people and bad what? people in every. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is there when you say there's good people and bad people. Oh, yeah, I can take that. But then you have people that's an, an authority that make the good people do bad things. Right? I mean, it, does that make sense? So say, for instance, me and Patriarchy, or we work for the FBI, and the director of the FBI comes in and says, hey, I need you and Patriarchy to go out and, and take this person out. I don't care what you feel about the person. I don't care. I want him dead. I mean, delete it. We have to follow that man's orders. Okay. And if we go, I mean, that's how, that's how it works, right? Or somebody correct well, me if I'm wrong. Well, you're wrong because, I mean, that's the whole argument. I think I gave this example with Nuremberg in World War II in Germany, right? Them saying I'm following orders sometimes is just not good enough. Right, you will right. Be held, you will be held accountable for your actions. Absolutely. But what I'm okay. saying is I'm talking about the following the orders part. Like if, if, a, if a man in command gives you an order, just like the president, he can give an order right now. Hey, listen, I want the army to line up right now. I want them to go to this country and I want them to just start a war. He can do that. He has the ability to do that. Nobody's going to say, hey, I'm not going. Right. Because okay. he's okay. the commander in chief of all armed forces. So he has the power to make them go delete anybody. OK, so so my question for you is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I get the point that you're making about what one cop said that probably wasn't even true um, because of the work that you would have to do to, to the, the work you would have to do to bury all those people, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm right. saying? And, and then you do have to keep a, a, a documentation or record of right. everybody that there is paperwork when you shoot somebody, right. Or delete right, somebody. Right, quote, right. Unquote, right. So I don't believe that. I think he was saying that in jest, I think that, um, you know, there, there's this idea 
that black people think that racism is like this hard hitting thing that is just hard and it's just not anymore. It's just not, it's, it, this is racism right here. Letting, letting make idolizing uh, somebody who is a dope dealer. That's racism. Oh, I and, agree. Then, and, I, then, I agree. and then, and then not holding people accountable is racism. Like not yeah, I, holding people to the standard of the law is racism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I agree with all bad influences. And even when you said about, because like I said, again, knowing all this stuff and studying this stuff, uh, even when you said about the FBI setting up a lot of black leaders, oh yeah, they, they were taking tapes to Coretta. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is your husband, you know, trying to break up his marriage, you know, trying to come between his family, trying to, I mean, they really tried, they really, really tried to destroy him. They tried to destroy Malcolm X. They, so yeah, I, I mean, Hoover no was, accountability for that. Those, yeah, Hoover, those people, Hoover was a, who? No, but don't y'all know there had to be an inside man to do that? What does that mean? Oh. Like, first I off, mean, it had to be somebody that was no, working for Martin people, that people. agreed to put those, uh, what you call it? Yeah, them? that's true. Yeah, that's definitely yeah, true. So that was somebody that was that looked just like Martin and probably okay. somebody Martin trust okay. that yep. put those little microphones and those little recorders. Yeah. And, 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 right. and how do we know Brianna Taylor is not that person for black people today? Patriarchy. Nobody's fighting for Brianna Taylor. We're really nobody's fighting, fighting for, for Brianna Taylor. No, what we're, doing, <laughs> we're talking about right here, right here tonight. What we're doing is we want to make sure that what was done was done correctly. How do you know and if that? it wasn't, huh? How do you know the FBI doesn't have to be transparent in their charges? What evidence do you have that they lied? I don't have me myself. I don't have any evidence, but Neither the fact that the matter. But listen, let Times. me tell you. Let me complete my thought. But the fact that they brought them on charges is saying that something is missing. And if this is all, if this is all a lie, then I want that to come out too. If it's all a lie, I want it to come out, and I don't want any police officer, detective, nor sergeant to be charged for something that they did not do. If they were not in their garage, Miss Goodlett and Mister uh, whoever it was, if they were not in the garage conspiring or figuring out a way to lie to get this warrant. I want it to be known that they didn't do this. Mm -hmm. But if they were, then I want somebody to say, you know what, you did a wrong thing. And due to the fact that you did a wrong thing, you caused a woman's a woman to lose her life. But again, if the police officers did not ask for this no knock, no knock warrant and somebody said that they did, that should be easily found to be a lie or the truth. That should be easy. Because what happened is the judge signed on a warrant for all these things that these people said that was happening. And if okay. none of that stuff was happening, we have a problem, patriarchy. We have a problem. I have a problem. I want to know because I work beside these type people every day, all day, most days. And uh those are these are not the type of people I guess I should be watching them. But okay. that, that wasn't my everyday plan. Highlight Gina's comment. Feds have a 99% conviction rate. Does that mean so so <laughs> so so it, it's so funny, right? So if by that logic, you're saying everybody that's been locked up by the FBI or have federal charges did the crime. No, hell no. That's what I'm saying. It's like pick your side because you can't tell me that the, that there that we have systematic injustice in this country and then then root for the justice system. Would it would you have to pick a side with this? No, we we we're rooting. I root for the justice system. I hate to say it, but I do. But if somebody's doing something dirty in the justice system, I want it to be uncovered. Okay. Because I do want I, I want it to be uncovered. I want okay. the wrong ones to be flushed out. I do, want you think, do you think it's a conflict of interest that the person that brought these charges is pro BLM? You don't think that's a little strange? That is a little bit strange. But guess what though? Let me say this though first. I Erica, don't think that Erica, everybody. I don't, I don't speak Shaniqua or Mammy, so my tone may come off different to you. I don't. I don't work at the Hyundai. No, uh, bro, I, I, no. I don't, I don't what drive. What are you a talking Hyundai. about? What, like what every you... every time you start bringing up valid points, the the Lorandas and Shaniquas, like they always like, why is it the patriarchy? Like, you know what you did? Listen, this I suggested this to someone else. Um, don't read the chat. No, but I, I like talking to the Laquishas out there. Well, don't, well, why are you calling people names? Though? That's, not that's name. probably her name. She doesn't have a real no, name. No, real Erica, Erica. No, real Erica, Erica. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good one. She, she. That's a, that's a really intelligent black woman right there for sure. I know her for that's sure. An oxymoron. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, that's around. I'm Wait joking around. I'm joking around. Calm down. Calm down. My husband can handle you. Why isn't he handling you right now? Look at you. Stop it. Go on, like, What's wrong with you? You know what, patriarchy? 
I'm but, not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna suggest what you need because you already know what you need, but we're gonna get back to the topic. Can you so get back to the topic? Yeah, I want to add something if I can. Yes, sir. I like the Marvin Gaye picture in the background. Oh, yeah, appreciate you, brother. And let me let me say this real quick. Um, there was a uh she said drop the link. Oh my god. Uh there was uh something just happening. A lot of this big stuff happening with the feds right now. So I don't know what's happening right now. I don't know. However, I did see uh, that they were cleaning out a basement in, in Mississippi and they found a box that the feds left. And in that box, and it says 1955, I'm reading it right here verbatim, yeah. and 1955, in that box was the arrest warrant for the woman that accused Emmett Till of whistling and they found out she was lying. And they and they did not serve her the arrest warrant in 1955. Well, according you. according to according to you know the logic of everybody on this panel, they're right because whatever they do is right. They're no, right when it comes, now hold you, on, say no, no, but hold on, th look up, think about yeah. their argument. Think about the yeah. arguments that are made here this evening, right? Patriarch, this is the, nobody's arguing. We're just having a conversation. It's yeah. a difference. Okay. Can you tell? The, what is oh, Erica, Erica's coming up. Oh, oh, oh I'm scared now. Let me say this to you. We're having a conversation. We're not arguing. No, haven't you noticed people don't argue over here? We're just having a conversation. I'm not. No, I'm just. No, I'm saying the argument. When I, I got say you. The, okay, so an argument you. is a statement that is made that is based upon facts. Usually, I understand. I miss. I miss. I, I wasn't I saying an question. argument like an actual. You know, ninety-nine percent. Yeah. So that makes it all right then. If they have a ninety-nine percent conviction rate, every person they've locked up was 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 justly. Uh, punished then, right? You actually did it. Is that what you're saying? No, that right. wouldn't no, be true. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, that, that what, what argument true. are you making with a 99% conviction? Are you the, saying that since they have a 99% conviction rate, that they're 99% correct? The, the, now, the, the, look, the lady that did, she's 90. Now the family is saying, hey, listen, y'all had that arrest warrant, y'all hid it, y'all stuffed it in a box and threw it in the basement, and now they cleaned out this police station because I guess they're going to make it like a historical site or something. That's how they found it. And now but the they gonna do something. They get ready to do something, aren't they? The family is saying they want. The, they said the lady's ninety years old now. What can you do? The family said we don't give a damn. Serve yeah. with a damn arrest warrant and arrest our ninety year old ass. Yeah, I heard that. I saw that actually. They had. They had that. They had the. They had his. Was it his uh, aunt or something? Who was uh -huh. the lady that was representing? Yeah, I uh -huh. did see that. Yep, she said she all don't give a damn if she's not 100. The server Mean, asked for damn arrest warrant. Meanwhile, Detroit has a 50 percent clearance rate in homicides. Yep. <laughs> Miss Erica, who you can you show us your face really quick? You don't. I just stay on camera. <laughs> don't make it an unfair. Easy. Don't 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 run now. Stay on camera. Patrick, ain't nobody caring about you. <laughs> no, that's not right. She got to stay on camera. She don't. She may not be prepared let's to see that. Let's up, see that. Let's see that beautiful face. Now listen. When she show you her beautiful face, and you be like, uh, then what you gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask her if she's got the a remix to the FNF song. <laughs> Whatever. Listen, I'm gonna, ask her, if I, I'm gonna listen. ask her if I'm invited to the cookout. Let me let me share something with you so you will know. Over here at SB Nation, we're uh, independent thinkers, and we don't ins insult each other. We listen to what everybody has to say. We don't agree all the time, but we allow people to talk. So we are we're, you're here. I'm glad you're here. We're allowing you to talk, and we, you have a lot to say. So we're listening to you. So let's learn something and take something away. How about that? Always sounds good, Miss Erica. Did she come up? Okay, so she's coming in in just a moment. But anyway, black man, you're 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 exactly right with those examples you gave. But again, to me, I think it goes back to nobody is. Um, I don't think nobody's. I've never heard anybody over here say no. We like the drug dealer. We don't like the drug dealer. We don't want people in our community giving our children drugs. I mean, I've come across some real crazy stuff in my history of and mothers. Why is that happening? Hey, look, Patriot, I'm going to tell you something. I told a story one time where this woman, uh, we had a job to do, and this woman said, told us, why don't you let that man make his money? Okay. And um, that was devastating for me to hear a black mom talking about her child, which is a boy, you know, a boy son, allow him to make his money is in sell his drugs at, a, at the little park in the neighborhood. Thank I couldn't you. believe that she was saying that. I'm just... Like, yeah, I, 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 let me I'm say just, this. I'm just uh, wonder uh, how a culture goes from no snitching to then asking for justice. Like, like, and also I, to to add to that, you know, one of the biggest drug dealers back in the day was the government. They was, FBI. <laughs> they but that's what I'm drugs, saying. Like, you like believe. Oh so you're telling me, you're telling me this toilet produces both sugar and crap. Like, like, pick a side. 
I believe this world does that too, don't you think? But Erica no. says she's driving. The link keeps kicking me out. Okay, don't get to where you're going. Don't you on expressway? No, drive. no, no, drive and put it on. Hopefully, you drive can stay on the first. Road. Don't don't mess with this thing until you get to a good place, Erica. We don't no, want do to do it at the same time. Talk and drive. No, Eric, Erica, get to a good place and then <laughs> talk and drive at the same time. Don't listen to the craziness in the background. <laughs> so. Excuse me, but but no, you you all are exactly right. But still, if this is this is local, this was in this is started with the local uh, police department. This is those are the ones who went in, kicked the door down, or what have you. Right. If they, they did not know, they did this from an illegal warrant, possibly. How do you know that? Huh? How do you know that? I said possibly, allegedly. I thought everybody's innocent until proven guilty. Remember that? What does allegedly mean? Okay. Huh? Innocent until proven guilty. But guess what, though? It don't help them none. Like you said, there's already been a trial. They were found not guilty. So that was done. Now, the people who possibly put out the whole conspiracy, yeah, the conspiracy, excuse me, y'all, to make this happen, right. now they're going after them. So it makes sense to me, you know, for, even for what you're saying, patriarchy, it makes sense. If they, if they have, if she wants to get at somebody, this would be the next step. So let's walk it out and let's see what happens. Do you, so let me ask a question. Do you think that, do you think anything's going to happen to him though? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, mean if, no, I if, think, if I think that, still, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think the mammies, the mammies in court have been throwing the, but look at the people from J6. Who are and mammies? At, Who are the mammies? I'm, I keep, I've been meaning to ask you about that. Who are you talking about? Who are mammies? Why don't you drive down your street? this election season and see My who, yeah drop driving wherever city you live in mm -hmm. and go see who's running for local judges and da's okay and look at a certain track record of who they give big charges to versus who they throw out so for example during j6 you'll give a guy who is a white guy from Texas, you'll give him 10 years for going into the Capitol. But then you'll turn around and you'll give somebody who beat somebody to death with a pistol, you'll give them eight years. Mm. I, I, I can give you one. I can give you one even better. Remember the little white kid that was driving the truck, 16 years old, he was drunk. And, and, and the church was pulled over on the side of the road, changing a tire. And yep. he ran outside the road and deleted every one of them in his truck. Every one of them ran them all over. Mm -hmm. And they and they said that um, what's the thing that's called when you don't know any better? What is it called? Oh damn! Somebody in the chat gonna say it in a minute. But anyway, so they said he didn't know any better, and they gave him probation. He didn't know any better. What yeah. Was, what, yeah. what is it called? It's called affluenza. Okay. Well, so when, like when I you said, don't know any better, and you and, and he, they say he didn't know any better, so they gave now. Now watch this: the same judge that following week. Same judge, 16 year old boy went to the courtroom. Him and a white boy got into a fight in school. It was a black boy and a white boy. The black boy and the white girl, white boy got into a fight. Uh -huh. the, the black boy got the better of him, hit him, and he fell, hit his head on the end of the desk and passed away. Okay. Tell he me, tell me. Court, and they gave him, he gave him 12 years in, in jail. Tell me one good area where the mammies are, in, are judges that's a safe area to live. You never told me who the mammy was. I, I, I'm not relating. A black woman. Oh, I didn't say that. No, I'm no, I'm saying that's, uh, no. Somebody put it in the chat. No, no, he said. He said. Somebody said emotional BW that abuse their power is mammies. Oh wow! Now the real definition of a mammy is a black woman that 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 back in the day they used to have her in the big house taking care of the nope. of the uh, of she was the, the uh, overseer. Yeah, she was, she the, was overseer. the overseer. That's yeah. where that's where I'm coming up with this, right? Yeah, it's she was the, the overseer, overseer of the family. So she used to breastfeed the white babies. She used to nurse them to hell. She used to be the sex partner for the um and, for the for the boss. Uh you know, for she the, will for also the like she would also say sex it, partner. She was she the sex also partner? she would also yeah, tell yeah. on the run the people who were trying to get off the plantation too. She used to have she sex was, with the yeah, she used to have sex oh, with the Oh, so listen, Mel says um unsolicited security boss, he's talking about a dark skinned black woman. Yeah, that's no, what we're not. He's right. No, I'm the, not. Those I'm, well, I'm not. I'm not. That, that's your definition. That's not my definition of what I'm saying. Yeah. Like that's not. He's trying to. You're trying to put words in my mouth. So I'm just saying this. I'm saying that we got a certain group of people who are now taking over political positions, and they have an agenda with these political positions, right? They're they're just like the just like that hood rat that's in the Supreme Court right now. 
What's the hood rat's name? Jumanji or whatever? Like just like that one. So why would you, but listen, I gotta get to the bottom of these 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 names. I don't know why we can't just use her name. Really, I know he's Jumanji, about right? What? Well, not quite. But anyway, okay. why is she a hood rat? Or why are you addressing her as being a hood rat? No insults. Yeah. Why? Why are you insulting Look at her? Behavior. Her? Well, wait a minute. I haven't seen anything that she's done. What did she do? You haven't seen oh, it. You I'll, haven't, I'll, you I'll, you I'll, haven't I'll, seen. I'll hold on a second. You haven't seen her throw out a, a case or give like no sentences to somebody that was engaged in child. You know, yeah, yeah. And now I was just even, say I'm not gonna call her rat, name. But I won't call her no hood rat because I'm, she made a bad decision or oh, she didn't make oh, or because a, she didn't make a bad decision doesn't make a hood rat. It's your one, lifestyle. Say, no, listen. It, okay, I got you on that one. I see. I see where you're going with this, but still. Yeah, her lifestyle. You don't call gonna, somebody call a hood rat. Yeah, I'm not gonna call her names. However, her track record of allowing men or women that have participated in those activities. Correct. She did not throw the book at them. They basically walk with a, with this, right? And, and and a lot of people when when the president was running, and his vice president, they said the same thing about her. How her her uh, uh, her conviction rate for black men were was astronomical, but for white men it was almost hardly nothing. And so, yeah, they, who she married to? Yeah, so she has a Caucasian <laughs> husband. She has a Caucasian husband. This is true. Oh, but I thought America was racist. Listen. Oh yeah, I know, right? Love. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh love. yeah. So racist. So why? Why are you racist? Oh. Are you racist patriarchy? No, I'm just I'm pointing out hypocrisy. With who? You talking with to? You talking to right Jumanji. now? You with right Jumanji. now? <laughs> Wait a minute! I thought we was talking about the Jumanji's married to a white guy too, right? No, oh, that's who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Jumanji. Oh, I Jumanji's thought you were Kamala. My bad. Well, talking well, about Kamala them, too. They both mammies. Both are married to white men. Both of them mammies. Exactly. You're gonna have to listen. Don't call the don't listen. Why are you what, here? What, don't, what call, term, what term? don't call a black woman a mammy because that doesn't sound oh, right. Oh, okay. All right. Why, why are you here? I can't tell you what you to do so out can there. Can I call a white woman a mammy? Absolutely not. I don't want to call anybody any insults. That's not what we do. What are they doing? It's, it's hard to have conversation when oh, you I'm throw so, in I'm sorry. when you throw in insults because it just derails the but conversation. Even, okay, so 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 I have thrown insults by calling them things, but right. they've locked up. And giving all type of men ridiculous charges over gun offenses, and I'm the bad guy, right? No, you're not the bad guy, but we can deal with what they did because I don't want to take away from what they did because I'm well, what concentrating they did on what they're calling them. What them. They are. That's what they are. No, them making a bad decision doesn't. No, it's a lifestyle that they've lived. It's not a. It's not one bad decision. Well, the, Jumanji, all of that doesn't Jumanji make them a. Just make, Jumanji can't even determine what a woman is. Okay, that's so what, who should be okay, but that doesn't guess court? what? Guess so what? Was, now, that's gonna, go, that's go gonna go more to my point. If she can't determine what a woman is, she's definitely not a mammy. She's got some other problems, but let's call it for what it is. No, but she's <laughs> shucking and driving like all mammies do. Okay, I don't know anything about that because being in you, you're saying mammy, like right now, you and I are conversing about you talking about mammy instead of the yeah. point that she can't that she can't determine what a woman is. That's the real problem. But that's what makes her a mammy. But no, 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 forget that. That's She's the real problem. She's shucking and jiving. She knows what a woman is. So so basically what Security Boss is saying is, is that her, in her platform, she wants to have the conversation and not insult women okay, or anybody okay, else. Okay, and okay, she wants right. to keep it, uh, okay, you know, me, a straight line me, instead me of insulting women or anybody at that. If, for let, that me, let me let me button it up. Well, because we need to know that there is somebody. Historically, to... historically, historically, their their legislative record is inconclusive. Well, you ass, man. It's yeah, inconclusive. They have, they have man, overstepped their they've overstepped their jurisdiction insult. on several different occasions, and and their 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 reviews of all of their legal briefs must be reviewed. They have gotten all their positions based upon nepotism and political activism, and not actual ability. Is that okay, a better? So is that better for you? Yes, it is. But stop okay, right there. Let's right, talk there about that. Let's talk about that because there are a lot of people, maybe in this chat, this very chat right here, that doesn't know that she has problem identifying with what a woman is. And she's a part of our Supreme Court. And that's an elected position that she will never have to give up. So we need somebody needs to know that. That's a lifetime position. Lifetime position. Lifetime hey. assignment, patriarchy. A lifetime. Mm -hmm. I hope but they listen. got bonnets to match the cloak she wears. Oh, Stop it. That's no. what somebody needs to know. That that's a person in business of the Supreme Court, lifetime assignment, that cannot identify or will not 
will not define what a woman is. That's very important because that takes us that takes this whole world to a different place. That's where we need to be. That's what we need to talk about. Yeah, but you know what, security boss? A lot of senators, a lot of congressmen, a lot of people are asked that at, at particular times and moments, and they're asking what a woman is. I even saw uh, what's the guy, uh, the the heel guy, Lamont Hill. They yeah. asked him on a show, "What is a uh, can a man have a baby?" He said, "You know, yeah, yeah, yeah." Why, would, Lamont? You are an intelligent black man. I thought. And you're going to get on national TV chucking in front of millions jiving. of people chucking and jiving, talking about you think a man can I call him face. Buckwheat? You are damn no. dumb. Oh, my God. He you cannot call him Buckwheat. But wait a minute. Lamont is a liberal, uh, obviously. But he said he, he did say that a, a, a man can have a baby. Yeah, she asked him. What's the lady? What's the girl's name? I don't know why. I can't, I can't, Candace, uh, Candace Owens. Candace Owens. Y'all call, call her a mammy, though. Who is can't, y'all? What are you talking about? <laughs> Wrong I answer. Mean, I I so, so, so your people minute, in this no, audience. Go, no, no, don't go past that. Who is y'all? Who who you know over here that called Candace? Look at Owens your audience. What? Gia what Homed, they Gia Homed probably calls her that. She probably no, thinks Candace no, 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 no. Yes, she does. Now you now you just throwing rocks. No, stop. It's the don't truth. do that. No. But, no, okay, I don't I don't know anything about if that. If you like if you like Jumanji, then you hate Candace Owens. That's just a fact. Well, that would be true, but that doesn't mean okay. that either one of them are calling either one a mammy. But we're gonna deal with this. Listen, don't throw. I like rocks. Candace Owens. I like Candace Owens too, but let's I, don't. I throw don't like out. Jumanji. Hey, Jedi. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hear me? I like this look you have. I like, I like it. Yeah, got a light. It looks you know, like you got to take a yearbook picture. You know, like a, you look, you got a. Well, it may be a good woman behind that camera smiling at him right now. I mean, gosh, I it's almost look. like. I haven't seen you in a few uh, months, and it seems like I've seen you. Months. I know I'm just lying. I'm lying. Yeah, right. I'm just, been, <laughs> I haven't seen you in a few months, and you have changed so much. But I'm just What's kidding. Up, you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm, I'm doing like good. I'm just yeah. I'm visiting What's family up, right now. Yeah, I'm visiting family right now. So yeah, I'll be back next week. Um, but yeah, no, uh, this was a good conversation, and uh, I wanted to kind of comment this because we uh, talked about this back on Wednesday on the Broken Dusty Show. Okay. And, uh, and congratulations to JB and Cam on their yeah. Yeah. Man, I heard yeah. that I almost wrecked the car. I said, ah, wait, what's I know, I know. Can, I, can I get an uh, update? What happened? He asked yeah. Yeah. Well, long story short, a pick me got picked. Yep. She, That's she what said, happened. Yeah. She yep, said, the pick me got picked. Yes. Yeah. Right. But, yeah, JB you know. was going to be a YouTube, you two bringing couples together. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We're trying to find you one too on the low, though. We ain't going to tell you about not. it. She gonna slide in. She gonna slide in behind you in them sneakers. Marriage, marriage should be outlawed. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Patriarch. I got the your, your, your show coming back, right? Scared boss. Let's get him hooked up, Scared boss. I know. I got his number. Don't worry about it. She gonna okay. slide in there, and then y'all gonna see him smiling one day. We like, what's wrong with you? He gonna be like, no. Nah, nah. She gonna be a man. No, I'm joking. She gonna say, she no. gonna come, come <laughs> drink. He gonna be like, hi y'all. He gonna, gonna, gonna be more of a Candace Owens type, but we'll talk about it one day. Uh -oh. Go ahead, Jedi. Tell us what you think. Oh, but um, I want to kind of go into about the whole definition, like the redefining the terms in American society, which is like really just dangerous when they're mentioning about, you know, asking questions, really direct questions about defining what is a woman. Now also going mm. to talk about defining what's in a recession, even though we're in one. Right. It just it's ridiculous. The fact that we're now almost reconditioning the human brain from basic logic to now also emotional perspective and bias opinions instead of actually what is fact. And again, with that becoming subjective nothing's ever objective which is the truth right so because you know it's because something that's subjective can always be well that's your opinion no that's your like no then that's never leading to anywhere which here we are in this nation so and and now when you go into this point of you know uh uh even when it comes to uh defining what a man a woman is there, I, there was a recent video i saw on youtube and you guys can probably find this of these two transgender couples right one that actually gave birth to a child but they don't want to identify the, the sex of the child so then it's preventing them actually getting any type of social security and other things like that uh uh from from that child because they have to identify is this a male or a female but they refuse to and this transgender woman is trying to breastfeed this child when they don't have no milk you know it's ridiculous it's ridiculous it's a mental it, thing it's it's ridiculous bro like um but no i just i to me i just think this is really dangerous like how far we've gotten like lost uh, in this nation from actually just talking about what is the true definition of a recession? What's definition means to be a woman and a man? But yet we complain all the time. Oh, these men are not this. Oh, these women are not this. Well, you can't define one. How you know what? No. 
uh, how how to actually be one. It just again, it just I can't. And someone asked me on um, also on universities too, because you know they're trying to put this in, you know, and try to do, trying to indoctrinate this type of mindset. But again, this is just very very dangerous. Now, and you know what? It was a respect thing, like you just said, when they, when they can identify. It was a respect thing. A lot of people respect it. Okay, LGBTQ, AI plus community, they want to do what they want to do. But now, can you really say that? Can you really say that exists? Can you really say that? L because right now, they say L stands for, for lesbian, right? Or, you know, and so if how how is it that you can still say that when you have uh, men that, that identifies women and now saying they're lesbian? They're not. You, how can you identify as all these different letters when you are mix matching? A man want to be a woman, a woman want to be a man. Then this person want to be they, and they want to be it, and it want to be they, and this one want to be this and they, and this one want to be one person you know, is plural. A pro, yeah, I, it's like, I can't. Even call they, me. They want to be called they. Don't call me him. They're like if I say, hey, uh, secure that. They, they say, where's secure about? Oh, there she is. And secure about get mad and say, don't you ever call me she. There they is. There they are. Or I'll give you one step better. You're trying to go to the coffee shop and say, this, hey, my, this is my wife. You want this? You mean your partner? Your no, partner. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Well, serious? let me say this to you all. Um, I hear what you're saying. And, and, and it's, it's, it's a terrible thing that we have to, that they have to go through that. But listen, there also is going to be a time coming real soon. And it's already started. Mm -hmm. Where there are going to be some people that have already um, trans, what you call it? Transgendered, crossed I suppose. Over. Crossed over. Transition. That, uh, transition. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They have transition and the surgeries were not good. Secure balls. You mean listen, like botch? Secure balls. Like listen, <laughs> well, I didn't want to get know, this is what you call reality. It's just reality. Right. I didn't want to get struck security balls, but I played the video of the entire surgery that on the backstage of my show one night to everybody that was on my panel, and everybody on there almost threw up. Jedi used that at night, huh? Everybody in the backstage was like, oh my God. They start, I'm talking about from no. start to finish, straight no, flinch. No, and no, I showed them the entire no. video of how they transition a man over to a woman, create right. the entire vagina. If you want me to get out of, if you want me to get out of here, if you want to drop me from a panel, that's the way I didn't want to be that graphic. What I wanted to say is this. Oh. It has happened and it is happening, but um, I think what they think going in, that it's actually going to change their um, mentality because now they're seeing themselves as what they identify with, but it really doesn't. And so what happens is when you're later on asked a certain question, and who is, what is a woman? And even though you look like a man, you're still going to have to answer that question and you can't tell a lie. Because and, and you know what's the cute about there was an, uh, the other day? What's the guy with the beard that's asking these people these questions now? Uh, I don't know him. Yeah, that goes around everywhere asking. He did. He did. one. Yeah, he did one the other day. Yeah. Yeah, the other day. Mm -hmm. And when he did one, other, he asked the, the man that transitioned from a, from a woman to a man. Mm -hmm. he, the yeah. man said, he said, I regret it every day. Every day, so, I should have never done. He said, "I'm coming up with infections in my body <laughs> I, I, after the surgeries. I had four or five surgeries a year." He said, "I don't even know if I'm going to live long." He said he's had like what twelve infections? Twelve infections, and he keep getting them every year. He said he get three well, different what, though, because, right, he, uh, because okay. he's a woman, and now he's he don't know what to do. I mean, really, you know what I'm saying? And women should be offended. I said this on my show last week. Women should be offended. Y'all got to go through menopause, cramps, all this other stuff y'all go through. And then y'all got me and putting wigs on saying they you. And you had to go through what you had to go through. I got a good idea. What I'd be mad do. as hell if I was a female. I'd be mad as hell. I'm not, I don't know about that part because that's just, it seems like to me, I, I'm not going to talk about that. But I'm talking about the people who, who have really identified with and, trans, and transitioned that is going to be we're going to see some real fallout from that that's already happening Hello. because um it's not supposed to work and, and, so and, even though it's they're doing it and then you have people that there are some people that i think are really regretting it and i don't know if they're all going to come out or if it's going to all become anything. zombies but you know what else secured the boss they are i saw this on the news today and i know i'm gonna have it on my show tuesday but 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 listen on the news today they said this about this monkey pox 99% oh. of the cases <laughs> are coming from gay men. 
Oh but wow, you this will, video is gonna take it down, bro. Like after this, though, because that, like that's live has been not really been certain. That's not true. Situation. Let's let's make sure we go yeah. on the record. Monkey hey. Pox. Hey. Not, let's go on the record. Hey. Monkey Pox is not a sexually hey. transmitted disease. I didn't say it this time. I didn't oh, say it this time around. I saw the blame me. On, go go look at Good Morning America this morning, and it the doctor said that. that it's being spread rapidly through sexual transmission between two men. I'm not saying it can't happen right. that way, but we can also get it. I mean, it could be also uh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Yeah, yeah. It could be just hey, but just like hurt. never mind. I'm gonna keep my mouth closed. Yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah. First I can't, line, I can't there was a first him. disease. There was a first disease that started. Never mind. I, I can't even imagine where you would go. So you be careful. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. You know, <laughs> just, <laughs> just a thought. <laughs> no, but, yeah, right. I, I didn't. I didn't remember. I didn't start this. You didn't. You didn't. You what didn't. Saying, I gotta tell you, what, being, what he's saying is hundred percent right. Yeah. Oh. Listen, I'm going back to Brianna Taylor. Can we please go back? Yes. Oh, you gotta go back, there. go back there. Because we we have identified that the FBI is not the uh, most righteous uh, group of individuals, but we got to go a little deeper than that and say that we know that there are good people and bad people that are involved in that whole organization. But we need to watch this play out because again, if indeed this one that the police officers were set up in the beginning, or it's all was done under false pretenses, there's a big mm. problem here. It's a huge problem. That means back man, they can come kicking your door right now and put the drugs in Marvin Gaye's um Hey, listen, I wish there was a way that I could the FBI is done. I wish there was a way I could I wish there was a way I could pull this AR in the camera, but I know you get struck. But but you come up in here, I don't care what you got on. It's been to go down in here. Uh, because okay, well, that, that brings us back to the same yeah, thing about Taylor that night. So that's what oh, I'm yeah. talking about. We we can't have that, y'all. I don't listen. Um Patriarch, you mentioned that uh, the crime rate in Louisville right now is crazy. What is it? Did you did you remember? You said you all it was crime, high. All crime were were y'all were never mind. All well, you can ask me that, but it's up seven. All it's up, the crime it's up, it's where high. all y'all was marching down the street doing y'all little uh, outdoor no justice no peace dance parties. It's all it's all. Wait a minute, oh, you saying you saying you didn't march? You didn't protest? You didn't do any protesting? I thought, you know, it was somebody kind of looked like you that was up there with George Floyd. I remember. Somebody they was talking real loud and they kind of look like you, it wouldn't you though? Is that what you're saying? I saw this stuff from the very beginning. I saw that this stuff was a farce from the very beginning. Is that a no? It wasn't no. you. No, okay. I wasn't supporting that stuff from the very beginning. Yeah, security, okay. let me ask you this question real quick. Okay. What if this what if the I reason think, I think black ahead, outrage over death is is hypocrisy at its best? What, what I, I want to ask this: What if Seems like what, the only way you can get justice is if what, you get killed by a white person? What if this case is attached to everybody? What what if what if just 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 for you know, just for hypothetical thing right now? What if this is uh one of those things where they did say for instance they did meet and they proved that they did meet? What if this? What if the judge is in on it? What if what if there's a uh what if the, what if it goes up higher? What if the DA is in on it? What if they, what if they, what if they said this dude that sold drugs know too much, and he know too much about us, and he punking us and making us look bad? We got to get rid of him. Well, that's what I said. Start now. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think start now because it, it got to be something deeper than what we're talking about. Absolutely. Now, if he's just a small time drug dealer. I couldn't see all this conspiracy to get him out. It just so doesn't. Also, like, even then, in the recording display of the uh, of the incident, like the person that uh, the officer that had the shield, like they have the. Was right there, right by the door, and he wasn't in the front, uh, front of when they were trying to proceed into the building. Um, like they were like he was just staying on the side, but yeah, he had the shield. So anything they were trying to, you know, the thing they're trying to be afraid of. And my father's from Louisville, so like this, uh, this is like mm. tied, you know, very personally. He was and work. I uh, talked to our uncles, um, and saying, listen. All the stuff you see on the news and everything, like that's not what's going on. Yeah. Right. No, it doesn't, a lot of the stuff doesn't make sense. I it really right. don't. Make the, media, the media will give you what they want you to have. Yeah, but, like, like though, charging listen, the officers. Well, listen, but look, yeah, let's keep in mind we don't want to give any terrible, and we all of it may be unreal, but we want to only report what we've heard through the media. Now, the first officers did get off, they were not charged with anything. One of them was right. because he was just shooting randomly. Right. But the these officers now, yeah, randomly sound like to me he was shooting because yeah, I can't, so listen, he guys, got listen, did, let me go back and get shot again. walking in. Listen, they're saying that a shot was fired from inside of the home first. Now, listen, I've shot, I've used a gun in the dark before. And the way it's done is if there's a 
flash, which is always flash. a flash. You, you shoot, shoot it with a flash. flash. Absolutely. How come the person that shot with the flash, how come he didn't get shot, but the woman that was away oh, from I the know, flash? I know why. Why? I'm going to speculate. Go speculate. Allegedly. <laughs> Security ask, ask yourself a question. How does somebody? How does he not get? Never mind. You know. You know. I've what already you know, asked myself one, that you question. Know one I've plus been, one equals two. Listen, I've already asked myself that question a lot, but now I'm done asking myself that question because this is that's really because you not, know what it is. Yeah, but that's really not where we at right now. Of course, but you let's, don't wanna, let's, let's talk about the cops. Let's not talk about them. Let's not talk about the actual people that they're going to arrest. Because that, that, that don't make sense though. That don't make sense, security boss. Oh, if you see a flash, if, no, if you don't, if you see a flash in the dark, I mean, what I was taught, you know, because you know, I'm I'm a great, I'm a great. Me and Mr. Boss had to get together and see who the best. But oh, I'm a great, talk I, about I, excellent shoe. He get like oh, 99 I, when we go when he go qualify. Man, he get like 99. Mr. And, boss and, is coming for you, Mr. Boss. Yeah, but just, let me tell you the real funny thing though. His yeah. night shooting is better than his day shooting. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming for you, uh, Mr. Boss. I'm coming. It worse. That makes it. I'm like, wait a minute, then. So what you're saying is really true. But let's do this super chat. Thank you so much, Sir Chai. He says, appreciate the broadcast, security boss. Thank you so much for that. But black man, when you hear that bang? When you see that bang in the dark, you shooting at that bang. Everybody you're not shooting nowhere else. Bang. Everybody shoot that bang. That's it. That's how you. That's how you do it. Usually, that's how, do it. That's how it's done. Yes. Because I mean, if not, you're really shooting in the dark. Yeah, I'm gonna put a clip in that bang. <laughs> So that has been that has been my question, but it, it, you know, if it was just my question and nobody, I mean, that should lead us to believe in the beginning that it was a whole lot of cover up and crazy stuff and stuff not being said. So I would agree with patriarchy on that. I agree with you on that. But once it all went through and they didn't try him or they was found not guilty, I have to go with what was said. They were found not guilty. So let's move on. Now they're bringing it back up again, and they're saying that the warrant was no good. They lied to the judge and they lied to the four officers that were actually out there with the warrant. So they were like setting them up. Yep. So I, in some ways, I'm so glad that they conspiracy. I'm glad yeah. that they weren't convicted of anything. Cause what if they'd have been convicted and it was sitting up in prison right now, been there for at least a year because they deleted Brianna and all this was a lie to even make them go over there. Right. And if it is, and if they did meet up, if they can prove that these people met up and planned this, how many other people did they meet up on? Okay. Well, you know, that's uh, how it's got to be. That's what's so going to happen. So they plan to get, to, they plan to kick in the door and get shot. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, oh, he no, did no, shoot no, one of the officers. No, he no, shot no, one of the officers. He did no. shot an officer. I'm not denying that. Yeah, he shot one of the officers for okay, sure. So they planned that. They planned, hey guys, let's go into this house at night from somebody um, who was who's an upstanding model citizen uh, who was sleeping in her bed and let's just all get together and all go in there. And then one of us can get shot. That's what they said they wanted to do. And then, and then we can eventually all be charged on federal crimes. That's what we really want. Right? No, we don't want that. I'm just, listen, it's going to come out. Listen, guys, we've been here over two and a half hours. I appreciate you all for being here. I'm going to watch this and Patriarch, I need you to go do some more investigation because you find, I want you to get to the bottom of this I can't and report it to me because I would like to know. <laughs> but listen, I appreciate you all for being here. Chat, y'all have been lovely as always. Thank you so much for being here and coming up, uh, participating in the conversation. Um, Black man, you, oh, that was Patriarch. Patriarch, you don't say bye no more. Okay, I got your number. I got you. Man. You that? Look, look, look how company do you. That's company, man. Come on now. I can't sit still mm. for a minute. But anyway, Jedi, it's good to see you. And make sure you come back and visit us real soon. And black man, you know how we do. I'll see you soon. And absolutely. Can you. can you hold on for a minute? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Hold on for a minute. All right, Jedi. Thank you so much. And guys, thank you. And we'll see you soon. You want that old jive swing? You take up all of the floor. I'm fine with standing at the edge of the door. You be the life of the party. You drink it all to Bacardi. Let's take it back for this started. You want the love? I don't got it. You screaming, stay. Please don't go. Don't think it's in me to listen to foe It's so different with distance we roam In the zones where nothing get hurt anymore I just wish I was home when I stepped through front door Instead I'm alone and completely unsure And even though you're screaming out with the best of intentions I don't get it Why do you always gotta ask me to stay? Why you always gotta ask me to stay?
always gotta go Laying house, this ain't a home with your soul on the road Say, why you always gotta go Laying house, this ain't a home with your soul on the road See, I've been lost in my thoughts And my thoughts ain't too scared to usher off Sorry, Ma, I just thought you were my world. Now you're not. And I'm just sitting, smoking, sloping in the days. Cause my days ain't been the same since I drove here. The way. I remember the way you wrote letters in blue ink. You and me was in love. Think about what your crew think. I know your moms probably think I'm a bastard. Your pops probably wanna beat my to death and take up in my casket. But I got sick of fighting, bickering, and fussing over nothing, cussing. Instead of and watching the death of discussions that we once had Days that we once spent in the backseat of our cars We were poets at sunset It's funny how love can pull out the foreground Get pushed into the back of your mind We used to twist his bluff and laugh and relax Are you crying? And I'm trying to find the reason So I ask, does forever ever happen? I can't say No, I always gotta go Laying house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road. I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Laying house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road.